it to the no going and you tell me do things I done running. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm going to skip the introduction because I don't want to take up too much of your time. I just want to show appreciation to one of our great mods on Super Saturday Morning. You see, this is the 69th episode of Super Saturday Morning, and nobody loves the number 69 more than my guy, Johnny Wayne Charms. Now, Johnny Wayne Charms has been a huge supporter of Super Saturday Morning since the beginning. He has held it down and kept the chat interesting when I've had to step out. When my buddy's uh, computer crashed and I needed a sidekick for the Pro 1 play-by-play -play for the pro wrestling events, he agreed to help me out as a substitute commentary guy, and he did an amazing job filling in for my partner. Now, if you've seen Johnny in the chats during the live premiere, if a number is ever mentioned in any way, shape, or form, he will always bring it back to the number 69. Never fails. For example, someone would ask, hey, who won the football game last night? And Johnny would say, the Patriots, they won by 69 points. You could ask, how much Kool-Aid did you drink as a kid? And he'd say, 69 liters. You could ask him how many push-ups he could do, how many hours of work he, uh, work he did that week, how many M&Ms he can eat in a minute. The answer will always be 69. <laughs> so I thought it would be appropriate if I dedicated the 69th episode to Johnny Wayne Charms. So if you're in the chat right now during the live premiere, please do me a favor, a huge favor, and type happy 69th, Johnny, so he can see it. If you caught this after the show went live and the chat is no longer available, please leave a comment saying happy 69th, Johnny, or maybe do both. Maybe if you're in the chat and you, you know, you can type that in there and then you can type a comment as well. That would be lovely. He will see it and he will absolutely love and appreciate it, I'm sure. So, happy 69th, Johnny. One more thing. If you're watching the show, the weekend of premieres, and this is WWE WrestleMania 40 weekend, join us on the Pro One YouTube channel, link below in the video description, as we do a live play-by-play -play for both night one and night two of WWE WrestleMania on Saturday and Sunday night. If you're a pro wrestling fan, you're going to love it. Okay, enjoy the show, everyone, and once more, happy 69th, Johnny. <laughs> come in, come in! The great fruitage has a big surprise! <laughs> I'm transforming fruit wrinkles and fruit roll-ups into fruit shapes! Ah, sharp fruitage? No, the fruit wrinkles! They're turning into bananas, grapes, strawberries! Hey! Look, I peeled an apple out of the fruit roll-up! Fruit shapes, my greatest invention! <laughs> Bill's Rice Krispies sounded great, until... Hush! Hush! They stopped talking. Hush! Hey, put them down and snap to it! Snap? Yeah! Snap! Whoa, whoa. Oh. On the talking part of this complete breakfast, we turn... Rice Krispies! <laughs> when you make the mighty volcano blow, wild things can happen. 
erupting volcano, once free in Rice Krispies. And the masters of the universe! I am Adam. Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man at Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. I set up your activator, near Mount Krona. Krona is the biggest volcano in all of Eternia. When it erupts, it will destroy everything. The Fertile Plains, the Royal Palace, everyone will be forced to flee. And when they do, we will make our move on Castle Grayskull. <laughs> Watch! Never seen it this hot. Elmish, look! The volcano is erupting! We better warn the others! Time to put this baby back to sleep. He man smothered the volcano. Too bad I don't have time for a steam bath. Thanks, He-Man! He-Man again! Ah, he's too smart for us, Skeletor. Are you Beast Man, but not for me? I have a plan to stop him for good. But how? With these two helmets, two very special helmets, I will walk into the Royal Palace and take Adam prisoner. And no one will even see me, for my helmet and I will be invisible. Once I have the prince, He-Man won't be far behind. Oh, this place is a mess. When's the last time you saw the floor in here? Where I come from, we never had to clean our rooms. Well, you do here. Yeah, I hate cleaning my room. This could take all year. Aha, my old bag of tricks. Hmm, maybe I can find a little magic to clean up this mess. What's this? My old wand. Now, what are the right words? Let's see, hoblins, goblins, witch's brew? Yeah, uh, not that, hmm? Oh, how about this? Upside, downside, in between. Magic wand, make the room clean. Oh, well. Last try. Let me see. Wand of glass, clean my room, sweeping through like a broom. Now we're cooking. Really, son.
something at him. The Royal Zoo needed some wolf baths, so he invented this. A beeper? What does it do? It attracts anything that flies. So when... Help! What's that? Help! Help! It's Orko! <laughs> Magic does it again. Help! My sword, it's gone. <laughs> uh oh, what have I done? I can't believe it. My sword really disappeared. It's all my fault. Please don't tell Man at Arms. What's the matter with you two? It was only a sword, and Orko can always get it back. I don't know how to get it back. Tila, alert your guards. We found Skeletor's Doom Buster in the woods. He must be nearby. On my way! Adam, it's time for He-Man. Uh, He-Man? Yes. <laughs> well, go ahead. Uh, we'll, uh, he'll... <laughs> I'll catch up. Thanks for not telling on me, Adam. That's okay, but we gotta find that sword. I know. Without it, you can't... <laughs> what was that noise? It sounded as if someone just came in. Who's there? Just an old friend. Skeletor, how did you get in? <laughs> the same way we are going to get out. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> When you can move again, you can tell your people, if they want Prince Adam back, send He-Man to get him. We'll be in the Banshee Jungle. <laughs> so then, my wand hit Adam's sword, and it just disappeared. Why didn't you tell me right away? I was afraid you'd be mad. Orko, hiding a problem won't make it go away. Oh, oh, and that's some problem. What are we gonna do? Maybe the sorceress can help. I know what has happened. The answer is that your wand sent Adam's sword back in time. Into Eternia's past. Is there a way to get it? Possibly. There is a time corridor. But there are unknown dangers in the past. And I cannot protect you from them. Well, we have to try. We're not afraid. Well, you will speak for yourself. Very well. But man-at-arms must remain behind. Why? I want to help, too. There are many ways to help. I have another task for you. Well, Cringer, it looks like it's just you and me. Enter the time corridor. So now we wait patiently for He-Man. What makes you think you can defeat He-Man, even if he does come? A good question. Here's my answer. <laughs> it turned to stone. As will He-Man. And to make sure you don't escape, Laser bars. Enjoy your stay, Prince Adam. They may be waiting a long time for He-Man to show up. <gasps> What's this? Man-at-Arms beeper. Tila said it attracts anything that flies. Hey, maybe I can attract Stratos. I just hope it brings Stratos before it brings... Wolf bats. This thing is actually starting to look like He-Man. Hm. I wonder how Orko and Cringer are getting along. Will you come on? <laughs> Don't rush me. 
So, 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 so this is the past, huh? <laughs> Looks pleasant enough. Oh, it's just a swamp hopper. Relax, will ya? Hey, hey, do you mind? I, I get a little nervous when I travel more than a hundred years away from home. Don't worry, Cringer. I'll use my magic to defend us. Y your magic? Oh, I'm in even worse trouble than I thought. <laughs> Uh-oh, wolf bats! Granger, look! A giant! And he's wearing one of my hats! <laughs> he's got the sword! How, how are we gonna get it from him? Man at Arms always says if you want something, ask politely. I I I I don't think he he meant giants. Well, excuse me, sir, but I believe you have our sword. <laughs> I, I see your point. Have a nice day. Oh, oh okay, big shot. Let's let's see your m magic work now. I think that hat's a bit small. Try this on for size. Cringer, quick, the sword! Let's get back to the time corridor! I hope Adam's all right! See if this robot works. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. Now, back to Grayskull. <laughs> Just remember, who got the sword? There's the corridor! There they are! Did you get the sword? <sighs> Good work, you two. Now, we have work to do. <laughs> he, he man, you're back. But, but how did? No, no, it's just a robot of He Man. Now let's hope it fools Skeletor the way it fooled you. Get out of there, Gatos. Adam. Stay away from those laser bars. They'll zap anything that touches them. How can I help? Find Man-at-Arms. Tell him where I am. I'll find him. Count on that. He's in a laser cage near the cave of Cambro. We'll find him. You get word to Tila. Right. Now it's time for our robot to go to work. Attack track. Use your sensors to find Skeletor. Affirmative. Message understood. Try to decoy him if you can. What do you mean, if I can? This time I'll have He-Man where I want him. <sighs> and Eternia will be ours. Ours, Furface? I, I, I meant yours. Yours, yours. There he is. He-Man. 
attack. Sword. Right here. Good work. I, I can't reach it. I can't. I'm small enough to glide through the bars. No, Orko, if you touch the bars, they could destroy you. I made your sword disappear in the first place. Now I'm going to get it back to you. Nice going, Orko. You really came through. <laughs> this is the part I like. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> this is the part I, I don't like. Break this and smash through the wall. That away, He Man! I have a score to settle with Skeletor. <laughs> Skeletor. He-Man! <laughs> now that was a kick. <laughs> My border prison will hold you until we get you to the prison mine. At last! Well, just you and me. <laughs> My invisibility helmet. Let's see how you do against an enemy you can't see. Skeletor. <laughs> Sitting down on the job, He-Man. One thing's for sure, I won't stand for you. Over here! I think I know how to wrap you up, invisible or not. Orko, your robe, hurry! Take care of you. Ah, let me at him, He-Man. Let him go. He-Man, I, I don't understand. You will. Watch. Now we'll see how clever you are, He-Man. When I... No! Wolf bats! <laughs> How did you know the wolf bats would go after Skeletor? Your beeper. I slipped it on Skeletor's belt when I put Orko's robe on him. Huh? Quick thinking. Way to go, He-Man! Let's get back to the palace. 
horse and tell the king. All you're going to do when you get back is clean your room. <laughs> Maybe I could use some magic and help me and... Orko! Well, I just thought because I... Orko! Well, I guess I don't absolutely have to use magic, but... Orko! All right, all right, I promise. No magic. Thank goodness. Being the most powerful man in the universe isn't all that makes He-Man such a great hero. Being strong is fine, but there's something even better. In today's story, He-Man used something even more powerful than his muscles to beat Skeletor. You know what it was? If you said his brain, you were right. And just like a muscle, your brain is something you can develop to give yourself great power. Our mission is clear. You finally bite a Chips Ahoy cookie without biting a chip. Let's try the northern approach. Impossible! What about the southern route? No way. Nope. Our only chance is right here. Synchronized cookies. Bite. Um, well, the feet never tasted so sweet. Chips Ahoy cookies. Bet you bite a chip. Hey, want to try again tomorrow? You bet! You go. No, you go. Okay, okay. You go. Big Mac and T.O.T. Wait, let me try again. <laughs> no, no, I have it. I have it. I have it. Big Mac and T.O.T. The quarter pound with some cheese, the flat fish. Uh, hamburger, Happy Meal. <laughs> no, 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 no
You can count on it, Dwayne. Scan the personnel files for the mask agents best suited for this mission. Personnel selected, Bruce Sato, mechanical engineer and design specialist, vehicle code name, Rhino. Hondo McLean, weapons specialist, tactical strategist, vehicle code name, Firecracker. Brad Turner, motorcycle and helicopter pilot, vehicle code name, Condor. Alex Sector, computer and communications expert, Rhino Systems Commander. Buddy Hawks, Master of Disguises, Intelligence Expert, Firecracker Co-Pilot. Dusty Hayes, Auto and Marine Stunt Driver, Vehicle Code Name, Gator. Gloria Baker, champion race car driver, black belt in Kung Fu. Dad! Dad, are you going on a mission? I'm afraid so, Scott. All right. When do we leave? Shortly, but you're only going halfway. I'm dropping you off at Clear Lake with Mr. Spencer. You know. The three pounders are? And where the pound and a half rubber boots are, too. Tell you what, if I catch my limit on the first day, will you come and get me? Nice try, Scott. No deals. Now get back. all set. Did you see those army guys? The trap doors and smoke bombs worked like a charm. Yeah. Wonder what the captain said when he found out his shipment was missing. Well, if he knew what we were going to do with the plutonium, I don't think he'd be too happy. That's the only information we have for now. We have to handle this with kid gloves. You mean special gloves? But plutonium is highly radioactive. And in the hands of Venom, the danger is even worse. We have to get it back. Spencer, 
Remember T-Bob? How could he forget me? I caught more fish than both of you last time. That's because you fell in. And with those fish all over you, you look like a can of sardines. <laughs> <laughs> nice seeing you, Mr. Svensson. I'll call you soon to see how you're doing, son. Be careful, Dad. This is where the army semi disappeared. Let's see if we can find anything. Peaceful as a summer cloud. Peaceful maybe, Brad. But eight tons of truck doesn't disappear into thin air. An illusion is little more than a theft from the eye. What in thunder is he talking about? He's saying, buddy, the hand is quicker than the eye. OK, spread out, scour the area. Look for clues. Earthquake! Patch into satellite sensors. According to the satellite readings, it's Central City, 7.2. The epicenter under the Geological Research Center. Hmm, that's odd. It's no coincidence. Venom's inside. What are they doing in there? Nothing worthwhile. Come on. like a good earthquake to scare people away. Good job. Let's get going. This is it, Venom. Help! Somebody help! Viper! Fire! How convenient. Let's get out of here. Bruce, Brad, Alex, Gloria, help that woman. We'll take care of Bennett. Stiletto, fire. Penetrator, on. <laughs> Torch, on. Backlash, fire. <laughs>
Are you all right, Dusty? Well, sort of. Vanham got away. Don't worry. At least we got what they were after. Did you figure out what it was? It's a computer component used to divert earthquakes from populated areas to the desert or ocean floors. Then obviously Venom has the means to create earthquakes. That's obviously what the plutonium was for, some type of earthquake device. But why do they need such a thing? Can you believe it, Mr. Svensson? T-Bob still catches all the fish. And he doesn't even have a license. Maybe we ought to report him. No one would believe you because I'd turn into a... Okay, you win, T-Bob. If you two are going swimming, you better hurry. Lunch is on shortly. Come on, T-Bob, I'll race you. Yes, that is strange, Scott. Well, try to make the best of it till I pick you up. All right, Dad. Bye. All of a sudden, Clear Lake is half empty. There's got to be a connection between that and its closeness to Central City. Allow me, man. If you pump enough water into an earthquake fault, you can create enough pressure to make the fault give way. If I were to make an educated guess, Venom stole the plutonium for the earthquake device nuclear water pump. Which means they can cause earthquakes, right? Yeah, that's why they're trying to get that computer box. If Venom got a hold of it, they'd be able to direct earthquakes to large cities to bring attention to themselves as a world power. If they want it so desperately, why don't we let them have it? Are you sure the Army's transporting another computer box? I intercepted satellite information. I'm positive. Right on schedule. What's the problem? We seem to have run out of fuel. Perhaps you could spare some. Bring a couple of tanks of propane. <laughs> Thank you for your time, Major. Sorry for distracting you. Take care. Same to you.
Activity escape. Lift up on. Over here, Bruce. Good work, everyone. We almost got them. Well, I think it's safe to say Venom won't trust satellite information again. It's so hot! I can't stand it anymore! I'm gonna take a dive! Wait! Stop it, T-Bob! You know how deep the water is there? You'll get seriously hurt if you dive into shallow water. Well, looks like it's okay. About nine feet. Great for diving. Then let's dive! This is CBS. They're here. Lynn Wilson's tamales in a new microwave package. Now it's easier than ever to enjoy that great taste. Try Lynn Wilson's tamales now in a microwave package. Lynn Wilson burritos. People who know the name Lynn Wilson associate it always with the finest foods. Lynn Wilson. Get burritos at their best by Lynn Wilson products. The name of quality. Get delicious Lynn Wilson tortillas. Great tasting from the name of quality. Lynn Wilson. Your family will love them, so buy some today. This trip's a breeze thanks to my super golden crisp cereal. Ride high with 10 vitamins and minerals and the honey sweet pot of this nutritious breakfast. Breakfast? Something shady going on here. Yeah, and my beak digs your honey sweet wheat sugar bear. Dig this bird brain. All you're getting is a vitamin pack punch. It looks like this turkey's goose is cooked. Can't get enough of Super Golden Crisp. It's got the crunch with punch. Yeah. Oh. 
All right, Keebler, hand it over. Your leprechauns. Right. Tis the end of the rainbow, and we'll be taking our pot of gold. How about something more exciting? New Rainbow Chips Deluxe. <laughs> and what might they be now? Keebler Chips Deluxe cookies, topped with candy-coated chocolate pieces. Rainbow colored by us elves. Mm, tis no blarty. They are better than gold. Ha <laughs> ha! Leave it to the little people. Who you calling little? Rainbow Chips Deluxe, new from the Keebler Elves. fives in one week. Don't forget the eight class threes. And the class two in Mrs. Fiorino's Linguini. Hey, class is dismissed. Let's talk about something else, like vacations. Good idea, Pete. We could all use a few days rest. Right. We've had very little opportunity for relaxation in the last three months. Relaxation shrivels the frontal lobes. Hey, Egon, my lobes could use some shriveling. What did you vacation animals have in mind? What about Cousin Sam's dairy farm? Ray, we've spent the last three months chasing slimers, spuds, and squids of all nations. We don't want to waste a vacation on barnyard animals. Amen. Ah, the fresh smell of new mown hay in the morning. <laughs> the comic cackle of the chickens at feeding time. The gentle lowing of moo cows at dusk. Ray, I'm only going to say this once. No power on earth is making me go to a dairy farm. There's the road. Turn left, left. Got it covered. Yeah! Got it covered, eh? You fellas all right? I think so, sir. Sorry about your car. Didn't expect anyone to be driving up a grain cut. Nice navigating, Ace. Well, it looked like a road. Where you boys headed? The Stance Dairy Farm. Do you know where it is? It's about three or four miles up that way. You can't miss it. Three or four miles? Come on, the walk will be good for us. Uh, sir, would it be possible for you to tow what's left of our car there? We'd be glad to pay. Tell you what, my brother Charlie's got an auto shop in town. Bet he could fix your car up just fine. Of course, it might take him till Sunday. Oh, well, that's perfect. We're spending the weekend anyway. Now, isn't that refreshing? Can you imagine what would have happened if we had an accident like that in New York? There aren't many harvesters on 32nd Street, Ray. Well, let's get going. We don't want to miss milking time. Let me choke him a little, just till his tongue turns purple. If you 
looking for your friends, they went that way. Oh. <laughs> These city fellas get weirder all the time. Well, this is it. Cousin Sam's place. Marvelous, isn't it? So charming and peaceful. It stinks, Ray. Hardly scientific, but accurate. Oh, oh wonder that, Dan? Oh, my! Yay! <laughs> well, we're stuck here, so let's make the best of it. That's the spirit, Winston. Who, uh, didn't mean to talk shop. <laughs> spirit. <laughs> oh, I'm funny. Ray, nothing in the world is going to make me like it here. You understand? Nothing. Ray! Sam! Did I say nothing? You look wonderful, Sam. That's your cousin, Sam? Yeah. It's short for Samantha. Sam, this is Peter Venkman. I, I told you all about him. It's Dr. Venkman, actually, but my friends call me Peter, and I do hope we're going to be friends. Gee, Ray, you never told me he was such a jerk. Um, uh, this is Winston Zedmore and Egon Spengler. Pleased to meet you. Supper's almost ready. Meanwhile, you look like you could use a cold drink. I made some fresh lemonade. You run this whole place by yourself? The dairy's fully automated, and I hire help as I need it. Sam always was very independent. I love independence. Independence Day is my favorite holiday. Oh. Sorry to break this up, but we farm folk get up early. Actually, we could use some sleep ourselves. Right, Egon? You know, this trip didn't start off so great, but after that meal and the prospect of a whole night's sleep, I feel terrific. Personally, Ray, I can think of no place I'd rather be. I told you. And what's best is... No ghosts! Yahoo! Let's hit the hay, cowboys. farm boy, but I'd say this was not how a dairy's supposed to look. Who could have done this? I'm getting some interesting readings. No readings, Egon. We're on vacation, remember? Are you saying this was caused by some kind of ghost? I wouldn't rule out a class 2 area aberration. Readings indicate it's at least a class 3. Guys, vacation, relaxation, romance. No ghosts. 
Ignoring this phenomenon won't make it go away. If this was caused by a ghost, I want to get rid of it. And you guys are Ghostbusters, right? Even if we don't have our equipment, we could investigate. Confirm if it is or isn't a ghost. Thanks, Ray. Yo, Egon, Ray, look at that! It looks like another field. With nothing growing on it. In the middle of a farm? This ground feels really weird. We'd better take a soil sample. It might tell us something. Look! It's a... Return after these messages. Oh. <laughs> uh, we now return to the real Ghostbusters. Baron, ever since I bought the place. This is very interesting. You got something, Egon? <laughs> Egon, I'm trying to eat here. What is it? Some odd form of ectoplasm. I extracted it from that soil sample. That field is crawling with it. You find anything in town, Ray? Did I? According to the county records, this farm was owned by the same family for ten generations. The Petersons, I know. But what you don't know is that the whole family is buried right here on the farm. All ten generations of them. When the last member of the family died, the farm went to the county. They removed the gravestones, but not the bodies. Let me guess. That field we found... ...is the Peterson Family Cemetery. So you figure this Peterson bunch is our Slimers? It's a classic pattern. Desecrated graves, angry spirits. So what do we do now? We watch the field tonight. If this farm is haunted, that's where they'll appear. We've been out here all night. Are you sure this is the right spot? Something's happening. It's a zombie jamboree. They're heading for the farmyard. Mm. What are they doing? I know it sounds crazy, but I think they're doing chores. Of course. They're farmers, so they're doing what they always did. It makes perfect sense. Well, maybe not perfect. If they keep this up, they'll ruin the farm. Not to worry. We'll talk to them. Ray, talk to them, will you? Me? Well, uh, what should I say? You'll think of something. Now, go, go. Okay, Ray, you got their attention. I, uh, 
I, I believe you've made a little mistake. You see, this farm no longer belongs to you. So we'd be very grateful if you just go back to your uh, uh, rest. What you saying, Mother? I think they're trying to throw us off our farm, Father. <laughs> Unless someone's got a better plan, I'd suggest running. theory is correct, these people will return to their graves at sunrise. And if it isn't? We're in very big trouble. Remind me to kiss that rooster. Great theory, Egon. How'd you come up with it? I read it in the big book of occult lore. You see, what we're witnessing here is chronometric reversal, aggravated by non-urban obsessive repetition. Doesn't anybody speak American anymore? It's really quite simple. The Petersons are farmers. In life, they got up at the crack of dawn. But their ghostly state has reversed that pattern. But how do we get rid of them? Good question, Egon. Impossible. Even if we had our equipment, there's too many of them to trap. Thanks, Egon. I knew I could count on you. Ray? Well, we might be able to rig up a mass containment field using the machines in the dairy, but I doubt it would hold them for very long. It's a start. Get to work, Dr. Stance. Right away, Dr. Venkman. Egon, Winston, give Ray a hand. Sam, you and I will handle the most important thing of all. What's that? Breakfast. I'm starved. Shouldn't you be helping? Ah, uh, technical stuff is not my bag. <laughs> What's the scoop, Ray? We're all set, Peter. I feel compelled to mention that this setup could cause an explosion of monumental proportions. Makes life interesting, doesn't it? They're here! This one's for the money, Ray. Good, Ray. It won't last long. I'm hoping it won't have to. Yo, Petersons, listen up. Let us go! First, meet Samantha. She bought your farm, and she's got something to say to you. Talk to him, Sam. Tell him how you feel about this place. Mr. Peterson, I love this farm. 
You made it a beautiful, peaceful place, a place to last. But now you're, you're destroying it. No, we would never do that. I know this land is your heart and soul. I know it because it's mine too. But if you stay here, it'll die. And everything you and your family worked for will be gone forever. But I promise you, as long as I'm here, you'll always be a part of this place. Peter, the field! Sam, look out! Wait! In spring, plant daisies. They was always our favorites. I, I will. Time for us to go. about your flashy exits. I don't know how to thank you guys, especially you, Peter. How did you know they'd listen to me? They were farmers. You're a farmer. Once Ray collared them, I took a chance you'd make them understand. And you did. Now, about that thank you, I think a little kiss would be a good start. Ah, I've been smooched by a spud. grow sun-kissed fun fruits. I don't think we're going right. <coughs> we search in the deepest, darkest jungle. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> sun-kissed fun fruits are made with the funniest fruits. So every chewy one is real pretty fun. Fun fruits, real fruit snacks from Sunkiss. Dinosaurs from Chef Boyardee. Tasty, wholesome pasta that's a dinosaur hunt. Cause first one to capture all three dinosaur shapes wins. Thanks for this Chef Boyardee. Dinosaurs. And dinosaurs with meatballs. Dinosaurs. Meet the pretenders. We're a bunch of cats who'll do anything to get out of this pet shop, even dress up like other animals. Shh. So if you see us in your neighborhood and you find out we're not what you think we are, you're the best bunny ever. Purr? You're not a bunny. You're a cat. Don't tell, okay? Don't worry. It'll be our secret. The Pretenders from Fisher Price each sold separately. Squeeze them and they really purr. Mighty Mouse! Here I come to save the day. It's superhero action and excitement. When Saturday He's always there, fighting for freedom over land and air. G.I. Joe! G.I. Joe is there! G.I. Joe is the code name for a 
America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose, to defend human freedom against COBRA, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. He never gives up, he'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe will dare if he rolls. G.I. Your last report has been received. And we are acting on your recommendation. You are to proceed with the theft of the Pseudomonda Eubacterius. Otherwise known as Bacteria, Bacteria X. I read you. What are you doing? That emblem. Your cobra. And your history. You don't know how dangerous! No, you don't know how dangerous it'll be when Cobra's through with it. Here comes one of the Crimson Elite. Elite. Uh, we do all the work. Destro, you have the bacteria. Good, you are dismissed. Now it is just a germ, but soon it will be a conqueror of worlds. <laughs> you were dismissed. My orders are to remain, observe, and report your progress to the Crimson Guard commanders. I do not answer to them. Leave at once. My orders come from Cobra Commander himself, in triplicate. Elite Trooper to Crimson Guard Commanders. Destro departed in anger. What are your instructions? We can't afford delays. Bring the bacteria here at once. We can perform the tests in extensive enterprises labs. And at, at half the cost. I read you. Over and out. Bacteria X. Huh. What's this? Experimental growth serum. It might prove useful, too. Security. Theft in progress. Leave them to us. Don't try to impede me. I have my authorization. Yeah, we've got our authorization, too. Stop burning, you fool! You might hit the files! Elite Trooper to Hydrofoil! Cover me, I'm coming in! I've been hit, but I'll do what I can! Blow him out of the air! Stop! Fool! We'll crash! Let go! Surrender the files! satellite spotted this. This, a thing moving downstate. 
Its nature and origin are unknown. The only thing we do know is that it absorbs everything in its path. No sweat, Colonel. There ain't a Slimer made that we can't take out. Target your missiles. Fire! What's going on? The missiles must have been duds. I don't like the look of that. I'm here, but he darn near dealt me out. I've got to set her down. Hey, partner, you mind if I borrow that old crop duster of yours? As long as you don't bring it back looking like yours. They say we're supposed to leave our homes. <laughs> Must be another one of those land schemes. <laughs> I told you never to make that surprise stew again! Wow, that was too close. What's Ace doing in that thing? He's trying to snuff the blob with insecticide. <laughs> Snake Eyes is right, Scarlet. That gas would overcome us just like it has Ace. We can't just leave him there. Are you all right, old buddy? All right, no. Alive, yes. That's good enough. In the future, I suggest you leave the handling of deadly substances to experts like me. What deadly substance? The blob's still alive. What you refer to so crudely as a blob is, in fact, a bacterium. He just might be right. I traced its trail. It begins at a recently destroyed Cobra base. It trashed a Cobra base? Maybe it's not such a bad germ after all. Yeah, it might just deserve a medal. Where would you pin it? There's only one way to kill a germ. You mean he's gonna fly into the germ using that weird-looking plane? That's right. Biggest hypodermic in the world. Snake Eyes, make sure the explosive is powerful enough. I want these antibiotics to get the widest possible dispersal within the germ. Good luck, Airtight. I'll be right behind you. After your last two experiences with the germ, you better stay way behind me. And I want you two in constant radio contact. I can either carry out my mission or I can listen to Ace's chatter, but I can hardly be expected to do both. Okay, Ace, keep down the chatter. I still don't understand why you have to go into the germ. Ace, I have to bypass its defenses and reach its nucleus. How are you gonna do that? Don't worry about it, just fly. This is most enlightening. What's it look like? Airtight? I repeat, airtight. Can you read me? Ace to base. Something in the germ's neurological makeup must be interfering with our radio transmission. Ace, I can hear you perfectly well. I was just ignoring you. And for your edification, germs don't have nerves. Well, it was just a theory. after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. How can you be attacked inside a germ? We've got Cobra missiles in here, but I don't know where they came from. How can that be? Save your questions till after class. I've got orders from Flint. Scrub the mission. Fly out of there now. 
I can't fly! In fact, I can hardly steer! It's like trying to drive a car in jello across a minefield! Like what? I'm switching you off, Ace! Not again. Corrosive enzymes. They're devouring the lab. And I'm dessert. The nucleus. What's happened to Airtight? There's no way of knowing. He cut radio contact. I must speak to your commanding officer. You must take me to him. I know things about that germ that you don't. I helped create it. I'm the commanding officer. Do you work for Cobra? No, no, I'm a doctor. That bacteria was created at my hospital. It was created as a result of the misuse of antibiotics. It's a super germ. Nothing known to man can stop it. In fact, your antibiotics might make it more powerful. <laughs> are set to go off in two minutes. Therefore, we have two alternatives. Either you let me pilot the ship, or we die. Then we have no choice at all. The shock waves are propelling us. There's the explosion. The germs receiving mega doses of antibiotics. But what about airtight? Flint, Scarlet. Congratulations, airtight. Welcome back. Looks like you were wrong about the antibiotics, Doctor. Yeah, that germ's doing the squirm. I couldn't have put it better. Nobody could have. It's not dying. It's going through its process of mitosis. Mitosis? What's that? Reproducing itself! Instead of one menace. We have two. And look, one of them is headed straight for New York. Millions will die! <laughs> G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. We 
gonna do? Order an evacuation. It looks like I blew it. Join the club. I still think we ought to try poisoning it somehow. I tried that, remember? What we need is a candy coating. What you need is a transfer. No, maybe he's got something. It should work. Poison in a candy coating. Of course. Apple seeds contain a tiny amount of poison. Poison? Only in the seeds. In small doses, it's harmless. But what about in large doses? Say, an orchard full? It could be deadly. Ace, this is Flint. Get the first germ into an orchard fast. We'll worry about the second one. Okay, man, load those apple crates. If we can't even slow this creature down, how can we direct it toward an orchard? Don't forget, Dusty. This thing doesn't care what it eats. It chows down on whatever's in front of it. We've got to take advantage of its mind system. Watch! You did it! You got the germ to change direction! Yeah, but not enough! The nearest apple orchard is a lot farther north. Do the sea maneuver. Drop your charges on command. Steady! Steady! Now! Stuck here a while. Oh, brother. <clears throat> Toll booth, we got a problem. Bring up the bridge layer. Ah, uh, kind of romantic out here, ain't it? Ah, give me a break. With pleasure. <clears throat> uh, your point's well taken. I hear you got a problem. Nothing you can't handle, Toll booth. <laughs> Ace, we've been delayed. You've got to buy us some time to get in position. Roger. You heard the man, team. Time for some delaying tactics. But Ace, we haven't got any missiles left. How are we going to slow that thing? I still have one missile left. <laughs> Don't count your money yet. It might be bluffing. I'm really beginning to hate this germ. Good. Ace delayed it long enough for us to get into position. Now this is what I call a good old-fashioned high-tech food fight. I'm tired of waiting. Where the heck is it? Come on, you lousy coward. Come out and take your medicine. Come on. This is gonna be your Waterloo. Your Alamo. Your... <laughs> just, just kidding, big guy. Something's got to stop it. Why don't you try asking it for a date? We can't stop it. Everyone, dive for the water. Shipwreck! 
called timing. <laughs> Some disgusting stuff around here. Yeah, real disgusting. What do we got here? It must be a worm from the germ. I guess that germ found Cobra as hard to swallow as we do. <laughs> <laughs> G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Envelope to VCR Instant Winner Game, P.O. Box 1901, New York, New York, 10116. Yeah! Go out for a pass. We've got to score it to the last down. Okay. Ready? Break! Break. Go! Hike! Oh. All right, come on, we got another play. Hey, cough up the ball, Jesse. That was your last down. There are four downs. Those are the rules. Well, the rules just changed. We got five downs. Since when? Since when is right? Just what does that guy think he's doing? The game has rules, and you shouldn't change them in the middle. Listen, if you can't play by the rules, you shouldn't play at all. And what kind of fun would that be? I changed the rules because I wanted to score. You changed the rules. We don't play. You're right. You're down. Come on. And that's one to grow. Come and get him. Fruit Pie the Magician here at the Franklin School. What do kids like best about Hostess Fruit Pies? I like the crust best. It holds fun. Fly fun. I like fruit. And that tomato's got a lot of fruit in there. I like cherry best. Mmm, dapple. And, and that says it all. Hostess, fruit pies, Twinkies, cakes, and cupcakes. Fresh snacks <laughs> with a snack in the middle. Somebody's aiming to ruin my day and my paint job. But no Decepticon jets got the zip to zap me. What goes up must come down. <laughs> and the harder the better. One more connection hoist and my solar tower model will be finished. Here comes the sun! Amazing grapple! A magnificent scientific accomplishment! But will Optimus Prime like it? I'm sure he'll be impressed. Well, if he's not impressed, I'll be depressed. Don't worry about it. Now, come on. I'll help you present it. Okay, Grapple, with a capital A. Try to keep me from taking the ball. All right, Spike. <laughs> Am I drooling correctly? The word is dribbling, Optimus. 
Look at this! Air Spike, compute quickly! Wow! Did you guys make that slick doohickey? And just what does your doohickey do? Nothing, really. It's just a model of a solar power tower. Don't be so modest, Grapple. The real tower will create gigawatts of energy, and it'll also... Cool it, Hoist. Prime, we want to construct a full-size tower. The energy benefits would be enormous. I agree completely. But how do you intend to protect it from the Decepticons? Perhaps you didn't consider that. No, Optimus. I'm afraid I didn't. Then I must regretfully withhold approval of the tower. If it ever fell into Megatron's hands... Condition Magenta. Power Glide shot down by enemy fire in Sector 3. Emergency! Emergency! Power Glide needs help. Say no more, Prime. Let's go, Grapple. The action will do us a world of good. Yeah, I suppose you're right, Hoist. I should give up solar architecture and become a grease monkey. Then my genius might be appreciated. There. That ought to do it. Hey, hey, hey! Airborne is reborn! Thanks a zillion! And away we go! the value of my power tower, don't you, Hoist? Of course I do. Well, then, let's build it, you and I. What? I said, why don't we... I heard you the first time, but you must have a glitch in your circuits. Optimus Prime said no! We can't let the Decepticons intimidate us. Think of the energy it would create. Think of the energy it would take to build it. Two of us can't do it alone. Yes, I guess you're right. I suppose it is a selfish dream. But someday, somehow, my solar power is going to become a reality. Uh, Grapple, I, I don't like the vibrations here. Let's uh, roll. Constructicons! Quick! Reverse! We're trapped! Hold your fire, Autobots! And miss a chance to nail you? Never! Hoist! Landslide! The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. <laughs> We're stuck! Relax, Grapple and Hoist! We're not your enemies! Megatron knows nothing of our meeting with you! Wait! Let's hear what the Constructicon has to say. It's simple. If we wanted to destroy you, you'd be ten feet under by now. And we could still finish the job. None of that, Bone Crusher. We've got no grievances against these two. Hmm. What do you want from us, exactly? We've left Megatron. He took us for granted, ignored our potential. Back on Cybertron, we all admired your building's grapple. They were works of art. So why can't we pool our skills now? Those traitors should be deconstructed at once, mighty Megatron. Leave them to me, Starscream. Imagine, Hoist. With their help, we could build the power tower easily. But they're Decepticons, Grapple. Could we ever trust them completely? I must have your decision! And we must have proof that you're telling the truth. This feels dangerous, Grapple. You shall have the proof you require! Ah, my loyal Constructicons! 
You are loyal, aren't you? No! You're traitors! And you can't deny it! Megatron! You, you, you got it all wrong! We're still working for you, and for the glory of the Decepticons. You see, we eavesdropped on their plans. Plans to build a Whopper Solar Tower that it produce megawatts of energy. Energy we could use to destroy the Autobots. Get it? Get it? <laughs> Perhaps this can be used to our advantage. But be warned, do not betray me. We won't, Megatron, not us. But we need proof of our good faith to convince Grapple, oh noble Megatron. Then you must give him my most precious possession. <laughs> If this is a trick, we've got to risk it. You asked for proof? Yes, I did. Where is it? There! Energon cubes! We stole them from Megatron. Is that proof enough? It's energy enough to build your tower. Yes. My dream is coming true. Move it! We're behind schedule! Wait a minute. I didn't send for any more trucks. Turn this rig around and... Huh? Where's the driver? Right here, Buster. Stand aside. We've got work to do. And we need your building materials to do it. We'll just help ourselves if you don't mind. Or even if you do. Who, me mind? Why should I? <laughs> Now, that's what I call a masterpiece. As my power tower is finished, I must find a place to sign my name in very large letters. He shoots, he scores, what a star! Watch out, Spike! I'm driving for a layoff! It's called a layup, Prime! And watch out for tracks! Sounds like it's time for a maintenance check, Trax. Absolutely, Prime, but I'm having a deuce of a time getting an appointment with Hoist. That's not like Hoist. I'll call him in for a talk. He's not here, Prime. He and Grapple have been gone all day. Then maybe Power Glide ought to go search for them. What do you mean you don't understand how to weld the joints? Follow my plans! You drew them neat, but when I do them, they come out sloppy. Maybe I just don't have the knack. The secret is temperature and timing, scavenger. See? Temperature and timing. You're something else. We need you topside, Grapple. Got a panel problem. See? It's not a problem, Hook. This swivel allows the panel to track the sun. Hmm, fabulous. But you'd better do a couple more of them. I don't think I've got it just yet. More panels, Long Haul, and be quick about it. Uh, get this, bring that. I thought I was finally gonna build something. 
You are! You're building my greatest creation! I, I, I'm so excited, I'm shorting my own circuits! Monumental grapple! Yes! It's amazing what friends can do together! Hey, Optimus! Get on the horn! Old Power Glide just spotted your lost Sheepacrons! I read you, Power Glide. Where are they? I'm zooming down for a closer eyeball. I'm afraid you're not gonna like it when you see it. Patch me in. You got it, big fella. Grapple and hoist with some Constructicons. They'd better have an explanation. Disaster Cold Blue, assemble Strike Force, now! My power tower will be powerless unless we can get the sun-focusing sphere up there. Oh, why didn't I see this predicament before? No Autobot's perfect grapple, but don't fret. We'll get the sphere up there somehow. I think we can help. Merge into... Terastator! <laughs> Done with you, Autobot fools! Magnificent! Now the gullible twosome shall perish in their own tower! <laughs> The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. Report, Rapper! 400 Energon cubes fully charged and more on the way! Autobots, battle formation, roll! Man, look at that! That's so tall, the top is in a different time zone than the bottom. No sign of grapple or hoist. Their liaison with the Decepticons may have had an unexpected twist. Autobots, attack! Megatron! Autobots! Freeze him up! 
I will not be stopped, especially not by Autobots! Okay, fight fans! Get ready for the old power glide pow! Ramjet, intercept! Right, Megatron! I will knock that flying scrap heap right off his afterburners! Yow! Going in to lay a bomb on his chin! Whoa! Power Clyde! Decepticon on your tail! Better you than me, Ramjet! Much better! Whack! Zag! Zorge! We have to turn Devastator's strength to our advantage. Smokescreen, head toward the tower, but don't let Devastator see you. Just call me the Autobot, who isn't there. Now, let them know you are there. Hey, here I am, you scrap metal meatball. <laughs> we'll both get a kick out of this. Smokescreen, burn rubber. about Grapple and Hoist, right? Right. Autobots, clear this debris away. Our friends may be underneath. Optimus, does this look familiar? Keep searching. If Hoist and Grapple are here, we must find them. What's this? Hey, anybody want some economy-sized wall plaques? Get those two out of there fast. I don't suppose these fancy doors were in your original plans either, huh, Grapple? Oh, Optimus. I'm so ashamed. Me too. Apologies accepted. Now we better get to headquarters for repairs. After which you'll return here to clean up this rubble. By yourselves. Autobots, transform and move out! the other towers to design and build, Grapple. It was magnificent for a little while, wasn't it, Hoist? Incredible. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> the 
The Transformers will return after these messages. Take a bite, take a bite, take an alphabet bite today. Okay, I'll play. It's roast that goes. Yeah. Ghost, how gross. You can eat the letters G-H-O-S-T yeah. if all the ghost eats these. Not me, I'll roast you, ghost. And that's no boost. Bye-bye. <laughs> Post alphabet cereal, a tasty part of this nutritious breakfast. Oh. The Legoland King's Castle. You can build this castle and play with it for days. But you've only started. The box shows other ways to build these mighty castles. Where knights and horses stand. Or joust around to have some fun or march across the land. Each day there's adventure. Always something new. And the team that dreams tomorrow up is Legoland in you. There are six more castle sets you can collect. Each sold separately. King's Castle is part of the Legoland Castle Collection and has hundreds of bricks for building. From Lego Systems. wonders of automation. All I know is the cafeteria's on the fritz. We can't eat there. So we eat outside. It's a beautiful day. The stars are out. Amy, we're in space. The stars are always out. Well, the only stars I see are the ones in your eyes, Amy. Hey, fly me to Alpha Centauri. Let me play among the... Hey, Glax. Oh, it's definitely you. Hey, Beef, it's the Earth Boy. <laughs> Let's smoke him. I love it out I hate eating outdoors. Oh, stop complaining, Doyle. Enjoy the fresh air. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, sorry, Ms. McBrain. I guess my brakes must have failed. I've warned you about this rowdy behavior before, Mr. Cock. Now it's time to pay for your mistakes. What shall it be? Hmm. Perhaps you'd like to sit in the corner in Professor Eisenstein's class. That's kid stuff. I love it. I love it. Kid stuff? Oh, that gives me an idea. Ha! I'll put you in charge of an elementary school class. Huh? You mean all I gotta do is take care of some kids? But, Dean, you always said kids stink. Ooh! No problem, Miss McBee. I love the little tykes. Indeed. We'll see. <laughs> Report room B immediately. You got it. <laughs> you let beef off pretty light, Miss McBrain. Taking care of kids sure doesn't seem like punishment. Actually, it was the worst punishment I could think of. I didn't know you liked kids, Beef. I hate the little tweets. But I like getting off easy. Just babysit for a couple of hours? How bad could it be? Which of you blokes is the new teacher? Me. You want to make something out of it? Sunny look in the room, but... Let's take him apart. Yeah! yeah! Uh, hold on. He's no robot. He's the beef. Let's take him apart anyway. Let's take him all apart. Okay. This is the beef talking. From here on, you do what I say. I'm the boss. Got it? Just like all the other teachers. They never care what we want. They never care what we want. What do they want? We want to go to Nova Land. But no one ever takes us there. We never have any fun. School ain't for fun, Dimbos. It's for doing like you told. No. You play ball with me or else. What do you say? You heard him. Play ball. Hey, put me down. Let go. with class until class learns to behave. Miss McBrain's orders. What? <laughs> and the fun's just starting. Talk to Miss McBrain. You gotta spring me out of here. Well, save you, beef. <laughs> Meanwhile, keep cool. Brian, to me. It's not fair. Beef gets to play with kids all day, and we get stuck on monitor duty. Monitor duty's an honor, Doyle. If you ask me, it's a bore. Nothing ever happens. Emergency coming through! All right, Egg Breath. Running in the halls gets you two demerits. Oh, yeah! Uh-uh. You wouldn't want me to call Ms. McBrain, would you? Ms. McBrain, yeah! We gotta find her! By the way! I saw her going into Professor Eisenstein's lab just a few minutes ago. Let's zoom in, Roland! We gotta save Beef! Miss McBrain, you gotta help the Beef! Sorry, but this is not my department. The professor was just demonstrating his latest invention, Roland. The projectoscope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is a million laughs at parties. Honest, Miss McBrain, you gotta do something. Those kids are bogged the beaver. Yeah, 
you're a regular wrecking crew. Yes, I know. You do? Oh, they're the worst class in the school. I wanted Mr. Bonk to learn what it's like to be on the receiving end. Yeah, but you're tenderizing him. Oh, well, perhaps I'd better take a look. Beef on the receiving end, huh? So that's what Miss McBrain was up to. This I've got to see. <laughs> quiet in there. Too quiet! Someone's been sleeping in my cryo chamber, said the baby Buzzmorph, and she's still... Beef, what have they done to you? Pipe down, Dimbo. I'm reading the story here. I don't believe it. Maybe it's just someone who looks like Beef. Nobody looks like Beef. Hey, 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 boys. Boys. He's, He's a man! Well... <laughs> It seems I underestimated you, Mr. Bonk. You've worked wonders with these children. Uh, seeing as the class has been so good and all, I was thinking of taking them on a little field trip to Novaland. Novaland? Oh, dear. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible, Mr. Bonk. The rules expressly forbid off-planet trips for elementary students. But I promised them. I'm sorry, but rules are rules. Give you a moment to say goodbye, and then they must go back to their dormitory. Uh, Doyle, Amy, Milo, please escort the children back to their dormitory and check with me as soon as you get there. Yes, ma'am. What are you waiting for, Beef? Let's blow this joint. No field trip. What'll I tell the kids? Who cares? You hate kids. Uh, yeah, it's right. I'll just tell the little dweebs what's what. You guys wait for me over there. Are we going now, Bill? No, Belen. I can hardly wait. Uh, there uh, ain't gonna be no Nova Land. What? But you promised. <laughs> it ain't my fault. It's the rules. You're like all the rest. Just a big phony. Rules or no rules, we are going to Novaland. <laughs> and nobody's gonna stop her. <laughs> Miss McBrain said we should take the kids to their dorm. These kids are going to Novaland with me. Uh, you, you can't do that, Pete. It's against the rules. We'd have to tell Miss McBrain. Rules stick. Listen, you dweebies. I made a promise to these kids, and Beef keeps his promises. So just get out of my way or I'll plasmarize you. You listen, meathead. One push of this button and Ms. McBrain will be here like a shot. Mm -hmm. Uh, not that I was going to push it. Your time has come, Earth boy. Stop it! Stop it right now! Beef, were you really serious about keeping a promise to these kids? What's it to you? I just think it's nice of you. You do? Yes, I do. I never knew you had such a wonderful way with children. You really do have a heart. Hey, you don't have to insult me. I hope you're not suggesting we help Beef, Amy. We could all get in very big trouble. Who needs your help? I can do this without you, Tweety. Oh, no, you can't. Miss Big Brain expects us to check in when we get to the dorm and tell her the kids are okay. Forget it, Amy. I'm not sticking my neck out for Beef Bong. Beef, we gotta say something. We don't want to get you in trouble, Beef. So we decided you don't have 
to take us to Nova Land. Yeah, it's all right, Beef. We still like you. <laughs> <laughs> well? Okay, Beef, let's do it. Yeah! It's up to you now. We'll keep Ms. McBrain busy. Let's zoom it. What's the plan, Beef? First, we ship into Ms. McBrain's office, lift the field trip pass, and the key to the school garage. Count us out, Beef. Yeah. What's in it for us? You get to keep breathing. <laughs> right. I forgot about that. Now that's what I call devotion. <laughs> I'm gonna break into Miss McBrain's office if it's the last thing I do. Beef, you stupid earth boy! Haven't you got that passing key yet, Beef? Got us the problem. I see what you mean. <laughs> Is that all? You disappoint me, Beef. Oh, yeah? What am I supposed to do? Just walk right in? Sure. After we borrow Professor Eisenstein's projectoscope... Ah! <laughs> Such a mess, this inventing. Oh, Lola. No, oh, Amy, I've been looking all over for you. Now walk a million swans for one of your playboy. Out of my way, mutt! What? <laughs> I mean, keep up the good work! It's working! Keep the beam on him! enjoying it so much. Oh, no! According to this, the pass is no good without Miss McBrain's signature. No problem. Allow me. Ah, oh, your cry signatures only. Could have said that first. We're going on that trip, see? Yes, but this one's a secret. Don't worry, Annie, dear. I wouldn't tell anyone. Except maybe Lana Lightyear, of course. She's my dearest friend. And Annie Asteroid and Penny Pluto and... Oh, no, you don't. We'll get the pass. You get the bus. You sure you can drive a bus? You kidding? The thief can drive anything. Sunk. We'd need an entire park shop to get this hunk of junk running. We got one, and it's right outside. Ah, beef! You can't! It's your rod! Yeah, my rod. Get the map to Nobleland from the supply room. <laughs> we got work to do. Are you sure this is a good idea, Professor? I think I have got all of the bugs out now. Except for one. We've got to get Miss McBrain to sign this. But how? No, I know. I, I 
wonder if you can sign this pass for Nova. Excuse us. I may not know how to do it, but I know how not to. Hey, where's the pass? Don't you have it? No, I, I thought you did. Oh, Miss McBrain. I just want to say that I admire you so tremendously. Nothing would please me more than to have your autograph. Yeah! Why? <laughs> Why, of course! <laughs> Students are in such a hurry today. Wow, for you, pretty Amy. Oh, Creep, you're wonderful. <laughs> I'll never wash these lips again. No! The map to Novaland! Cough it up! You won't like it. Just clam up and give! Okay. <laughs> I told you you wouldn't like it. Roland Earl! What is the meaning of this? Oh, I don't love it! I don't love it! Hey, look! Maps! Oh, right! What do you think? It looks like Frankenstein's bus! She may be ugly, but she'll fly. Now all we need are Roland and Earl. Here they come out. Oh, how nice. They've invited Miss McBrain. What? what? One side, we be the bee flies this crate. children devotion and responsibility. That's far more important than a silly old rule. Just like I always say, Miss McBee, rules stink. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bonk! Let's do it! Now, now, remember, children, it's just a ride. No need to overreact. I never thought I'd say this, but you're looking good today, Beef. No big surprise, Chicky. The Beef's always looking good. Boy, 
not Tutu. Now, children, I hope you've all learned a valuable lesson from this. We sure have. He's the greatest and rules cheek. <laughs> Them's my kids. took real fruit to new lengths and came up with a smashing new idea in fruit. They're made from real fruit and other good things. Fruit Corners Fruit Bars are 100% natural, 100% delicious. You'll fall in love with them in no time flat. New Fruit Corners Fruit Bars, a smashing new idea in fruit. Fruit Bars! Okay, let's try it again. That's because you didn't have a good breakfast like I did. A Cheerios breakfast. When you fuel up with a nutritious breakfast like this one with tasty low-sugar Cheerios, those O's will help keep you on your toes. Here you go, Chuck. You're on your toes. I don't like this. Whoa. What's happening? Whoa. Where are we? Look out! Fear not, ranger? Barbarian, magician, thief, cavalier, and acrobat. Was Venger, the force of evil. I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. Twerp is scared of her own shadow. Yui! Hey, come back! Don't go in there! We can't go anywhere until I get the rocks out of my shoe. Keep them. Maybe the rocks in your head need company, Eric. <laughs> Enough of this. I want him now. <laughs> A second unicorn. I heard her. Come on, this way. Look, another unicorn. And he's in big trouble. Kill your big brains, relax, Uni. Watch this. Crystal, that's 
the dumbest thing I ever... <laughs> better. This will be much better. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, where's Uni? Well, I don't know, but that big unicorn needs help. Did you see that? Such a pity you are too young to have learned to use your powers. And such a tragedy you won't have time. Recall the others! Get ready, guys. We've got them now. We've got them? What do you think scared them off? Simple, Sheila. They took one look at my great strength, one look at my grim weapon. And one look at your grody face. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where's Uni? Those wolves must have chased her into the forest. They went this way. Then we're going that way, too. They went this way. We're going that way. How come nobody ever asked me which way I want to go? Oh, oh, no. This is great. This way is just fine. Even if you knew how, a unicorn can teleport only once a day. Excellent. Your friends are following just as I hoped. Forget it. I'm not playing pincushion just to save some dumb unicorn. Who'd you say is dumb? Now, now, young ones. Yeah, but Eric won't help us save Union. Huh? It's Dungeon Master. Who's that guy with the wolves? Who cares? He's got Uni! He is the wizard Kellick. Beware, barbarian. He has much more than the unicorn you love. Ah, oh, that little weirdo won't get away with his riddles this time. I'm writing down every dumb word he says. Well, who's that big unicorn? That was Silvermane, the leader of the last unicorn herd. How'd he disappear like that? His magic horn. It gives him the power of teleportation, like all of his kind. But remember, the fate of one is shared by all. I got it. The fate of the magic. No, no, wait. The horn of portation? No, no. The telephone is shared by all? That's not right. Oh, Dungeon Master, could, could you repeat? Oh, no! Yep, he's gone. Which leaves us with a thorny problem. Oh, yeah! I'll smash through them! I think I have a better idea. Ooh, Hank's got a better idea. Wait, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Things I do for you guys. Stay down and keep quiet. It's okay. I don't think he saw us. The young fools. There, there, little one. It will soon be over. No! She's okay, Bobby. She's okay. But where's she taking her?
now you shall add to my power. I only desire the power of teleportation, the ultimate power over all matter. You shall give a part of it to me, and soon it shall all be mine. All will kneel to Kellick. Even Venger will call me master. That guy's gonna be the new Venger? Not a chance. That guy's cracked. Cracked or not, he's got uni. Let's double back and get down there before... <laughs> find the lost valley of the unicorns. The last three horns shall finally be mine. And with them, the ultimate power. Then all shall call me master. Barbarian, you stay with Uni. I'll free the others. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Gee, do we have to let him loose? It's been so nice and quiet without him. <laughs> of all the low-down rotten tricks, this is the quiet! What was that? Let's find out. It's okay, we won't hurt you. <gasps> More unicorns! A whole herd of them. Poor guys. Kellett got your horns, too. And he'll get the rest, too, as soon as he finds that secret valley of the unicorns place. We gotta get there first and warn him. No! I'm not going anywhere till we help Uni. Bobby, this may be the only way we can help her. Well, remember what Dungeon Master said? The fate of one is shared by all. Well, maybe. Oh, I guess. These guys could lead us to the valley, if we can convince them to trust us. <laughs> I think we've got them convinced. gratitude for you and after all we've done for him shh be quiet and don't move we're not 
not scaring him. They are. Oh, no. Thank you all. I knew those unicorns would lead you here. No, the last three are mine. <laughs> Quick, get under my shield. Why do you find that difficult to believe, Barbellion? Uh, dungeon Master! Aw, uh, you know, Eric doesn't do anything but complain and... Yeah, who'd have thought he could be brave? People can be many things. Sometimes your worst enemy can be your strongest ally. You writing all this down, Cavalier? I'll give you something to write down. Get me out of here! There it is. Kellogg's probably there already. Come on, there isn't much time. Yeah, and soon he'll be even stronger than Venger. Hey, am I brilliant or what? If you're so brilliant, pull something useful out of that hat, like about 8,000 Marines. I'll do better than that. Don't you guys remember, Dungeon Master said sometimes our strongest ally is our worst enemy. Our worst enemy is Venger. I'll just call him here and- You what? No, no! The Dungeon Master said sometimes, Presto, sometimes. That doesn't mean now. Hey, there's no time like the present. Abracadani, hey, naughty, naughty. Well, not to do it. Vendor will be here any minute. Where? Right here. Don't you think I... Yeah! You have invaded the Castle of Avenger. And the penalty is... W wait, I, I, I'm here to help you. Help me? What trickery is this? No, no trick, honest. You gotta stop Kellogg. You got a big thing with 2011 hands and swipes horns off a unicorn that says he can even beat you and- Stop! Kellogg, you say? Now, begin at the beginning. And the strongest shall be last. Again! This is even dumber than Presto's idea. And where did he go, anyway? Shut up and do it! Now! Easy, boy. And just what is this little trick supposed to get us? It's our fault Silvermane's here. Maybe this trick gets him back. And maybe it gets a zap by Kellek. It does indeed. Sorry, Hank. We tried. A noble effort. Also your last. Now you shall trouble me no longer. Come! Where you guys here where I've been? Crystal! Duck! Didn't he did? Vendor! Greetings, Kellek. Do forgive my intrusion? Of course. Of course, what? Of course, Master. That is better. I must thank you, Kellek, for keeping the unicorn horns. For keeping them safe for me. Kellek. Release the spell. Kill it. As you wish, Master. Somebody's getting in trouble. Release the spell, Kill it. Of course, Master. The horns are mine. The power is mine. Now you shall call me Master. Indeed. <laughs> Chance. Let's get out of here. No way. These little guys are too weak to run, and they need their horns back now. Just what are you going to do? Glow them on? Nope. 
magic. Abra, come here. All the horns appear. Guess it takes more magic to put them back on than to take them off. You dummy. Dungeon Master said you only have to replace one. And I quote, the fate of one is shared by all. <laughs> Stuff that in your hat. Much as I hate to say it, Mr. Mouth is right. Okay, Abra Karuni, give the horn back to Uni. Hey, look at this. <laughs> Quiet, listen. The castle's sinking back down! Of course, with Kelegon. His castle is going with him. And now, the unicorns are mine. What a rat! What a creep! What's the fastest way out of here? Get on the unicorns! They can teleport us out! There goes one happy little unicorn. Yep, leaving behind one unhappy little boy. Bobby, we have to go. We've got to keep looking for the way home. I won't leave without Uni. Bobby, what if she wants to stay? But I love Uni. She's got to come. She just got to. Come on, everybody. Let's go. Gee, do you think Uni will really stay with Presto? Shh! You cut it out? Come on, get out of here. For the last time, we... Sheila, this is all your fault. Why'd you have to bring these little puppies? Dungeon Master said they'd grow up to make great guardians for the unicorns. Can I help it if they love your feet? Okay. Are you kidding? I've never felt better in my whole life. Hey, Bobby, you need some help? Nah, she's not heavy. Whoa, will you watch it with that horn? One word out of you, Eric, and pal. presents Mr. O and his lunchtime show. Today, Professor Popple has cooked up some nutritious dishes. Protein is important to children, so, ta-da! Protein power fun. And for iron, uh, my steam iron stew. <laughs> well, but what do kids like at noon? Neat brown spaghetti you can eat with a spoon. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs! And SpaghettiOs with meatballs are more than just delicious, they're nutritious. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs! I'm moving my feet for a taste so neat The Kellogg's Pop Tart Taste Pop, 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 pop my feet and stop Until they pop up nice and hot Because they taste so good I'm moving my feet to the Pop Tart Taste I'm moving real fast because they sure won't last Real food on the inside, pastry on the outside Pop, pop, pop Tart I'm moving my feet to the Pop Tart Feet Because they taste so neat It is the 31st century, 
Ulysses killed the giant Cyclops when he rescued the children and his son Telemachus. But the ancient gods of Olympus are angry and threaten a terrible revenge. Mortals, you defy the gods? I sentence you to travel among unknown stars. Until you find the kingdom of Hades, your bodies will stay as lifeless as stone. Ulysses, the way back to Earth has been wiped from my memory. Father! Oh, Father! You are alive, my son. Crew on alert. Danger signal. Attack by Trident spaceships. Crew stand by. Danger. All crew at emergency positions. Tridents are attacking. By the great galaxy, what's going on? I don't understand, Shirka. Reinforce protection screens 1, 7, and 3. Energy systems damaged. What? Isn't there enough power to generate a Type 1 protection screen? No, main energy system deficient. We must run. Maximum speed. Open energy reservoirs B1 and 2 immediately. We're surrounded. The ship's emergency resources are too low to outrun the Tridents. Give me all possible options at once. Serious energy loss. No possible solutions. The Trident's next shot will destroy the Odyssey. What?
Ulysses has escaped us once again. This time he has taken refuge in the kingdom of Kronos, the kingdom of time. We made it! Incredible! We made it! By the great galaxy. I can't believe it. Shirka, tell us what happened. Look at the clock. It's out of order. Look how fast the digits are moving. The clock isn't out of order. The Odyssey has entered a zone where time goes very fast. Father, look! Oh, Father, did you see? Let's get out of here quickly! Wait, follow us, Ulysses. The one who saved your life is expecting you in his palace. Tell me, how do you know my name? Ulysses, let's not go. We mustn't accept Turn him down. Please, for our sake. You, me, this being, whatever he is, just saved our lives. Without him, we would be dead. We cannot refuse. Kronos, the Lord of Time. What a strange character. Maybe he's a clockmaker. Approach. Let's do what he says. Hey, my friend, would a small nail do it for you? Much obliged, but this is more my style. <laughs> Silence! <laughs> Whoa! So, you are the famous Ulysses, the mortal who has dared to defy the gods of Olympus. Yes, I am Ulysses. Thank you, kind stranger, for having saved us. We were in danger. Saved you? <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea the Earthlings were so naive. I took you for a man of worth. Throw him in prison and lock the children up in the time block at once. <sighs> By the great galaxy. Oh, Father! If you value your lives, you will not resist. You mean... Father! Lead Ulysses to the main building, guards. Saved. <laughs> no! No! Ulysses, 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 can you hear me? Yes, Shirka. High risk alarm reached. Here in the spaceship, time is out of control. Everyone in the Odyssey will die of old age if we remain in this time zone. We must get away. <laughs> My brother, Telemachus, do something. Old age is catching up with him, too. You mean now, don't panic. I'm sure there must be some way we can prevent that. <gasps> now I understand. It's not the tridents. It's time that's the fatal trap. The sure way to death. What? Oh, my, my, my. I can feel my joints stiffening already. Oh, I, I'm going to rust and crack like some old piece of junk. <laughs> Don't cry, Yumi. We're going to find a way out. I promise you. Kronos, let me go. Let my children out. I must rescue my shipmates. Time is moving too quickly for them. They'll die if I don't save them. Your friends don't interest me. You're the one I care about, Ulysses. Just you. Do you understand me now? Why me? Why, Kronos? Ulysses, listen to me. I am the Lord of Time. I am Kronos, whom the gods exiled from Olympus, the one my brothers exiled long ages ago. 
kicked me out for nothing, me, Kronos. Can you imagine? But now I'll be able to go home again. But what has this to do with me? Why because me? Because it's you the gods want, Ulysses. Gods of Olympus, hear me! What do you want, Kronos, you silly old fool? Ha! God of all gods, this time you will have to listen to the old fool. And why should I? I want to return home, immortal ruler of Olympus. In exchange, I offer Ulysses. Ulysses? No. No, you have no right. See, he's in my power. Do you accept my offer? We will consider your proposal, Cronus. You will have a reply soon. You fool. And you had the nerve to call me naive. As soon as the gods get hold of me, they'll exile you again. <laughs> First, let's wait to hear what they say. <laughs> wait, Kronos. The children are of no use to you. Free them. Your children? Hmm, I'd quite forgotten them. Now, how old do you suppose those little ones must be by now? How old? What do you mean? <laughs> wait, Kronos, wait! He's out of his mind. <sighs> I can't do it. It doesn't work. It won't move. What's going to become of us and Newman or my brother? Hey there. Don't while away your days playing with this mechano. I want to stay young if you don't mind. How about a small nail to put you back on the right track, hmm? Oh, really? At a time like this? No, no. Wait. Let me see that nail, Nono. Ah, you're a genius. Huh? Uh, me a genius? Uh, just a trifle. All set? Dangerous, but ready to go, sir. Please be careful. It's open. Follow me. Let's get out of here. Stop, you fool! You can't escape. Stop, or you'll never see those brats of yours again. Hostages, Hostages escaped, escaped from time, time lock, laying, laying on foot. What? It's true, they're free. Well, they won't get any farther than Ulysses will. After them, at once! We're trapped. They have us surrounded. This way. Oh, my foot is caught. Ah! 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 Where are we? And where's Yumi? Telemachus, look, there she is, see? Yumi! Hey! I can't move my feet. I'm stuck. Telemachus! Yumi! Hey, look! What's happening? Flowers. It's 
just like springtime. <laughs> no one escapes from Kronos that easily. Not even the children of Ulysses. You are in the Chamber of Seasons. You are prisoners of time. Once more, you'll never be together again. You are locked in separate seasons. Phew, it's getting hotter and hotter. It's summer now. For Yumi, it must be autumn now, then. Telemachus! Yumi! Shirk calling. Ulysses, your companions are growing old. Stop, Ulysses! Or we'll shoot you! He disintegrated as though he'd aged a thousand years in a second. Ulysses, the lives of the crew are in danger. Stop! Stop! Don't kill him. Catch him alive. I need him alive. You're going to be my hostage, Ulysses. Like it or not. No, no. Telemachus, you me. <sighs> Ulysses, surrender. You can no longer escape. You are in the hall of universal time. Amazing, the clock that regulates time for the entire universe. Ulysses, surrender your gun. Careful. The great Kronos wants him alive. Yumi! Can you hear me, Yumi? Yumi! Ulysses, Shirka calling from Odyssey Control. Your friends have reached the end of their lives. I cannot keep them alive any longer. Time. I must turn it back. It has to work. Oh. Catch him at once, do you hear me? At once! <laughs> Kronos, in trouble again. <laughs> Where is the bargain you were going to make with your Ulysses? Curse you, Ulysses! You will pay for this! Kill them! Kill them all! Shirka, tell me quickly. Precisely when did the Odyssey enter the kingdom of Kronos? 31st century, 6,808th day at precisely 1515. Adieu, Telemachus. Numenor, farewell, my brother. I die.
Dad, is that you? Children, we must hurry. Let's get out of this place while we still can. Shirka, full speed, get us out of this nightmare. Right, Ulysses. Ah, Ulysses, I'll find you yet, and then I'll have my revenge on you and on the gods! Brother, oh, I was so frightened. He'll never know what he lived through. Yes, that was an exciting little escapade. Anyone care for a nail or two? Don't mind if I do. I could eat anything. Uh, really? You want one? I can't. Can't take it, huh? Strong stuff, huh? But just remember, without a small nail, you'd really have been stuck. <laughs> <laughs> It's a world of friendly faces, a world where kids and fun go hand in hand. All the world loves m and a delicious chocolate wonderland. All the world loves m and they're neat to eat, a joy for everyone. M&M's Chocolate Candies, the milk chocolate melts in your mouth, not in your hand. Lucky charm! Oh, I'll make a bicycle and pedal off in the crunchy old cereal with a rainbow of marshmallow surprises. Pink clovers, green horseshoes, yellow diamonds, purple hearts, blue stars, orange moons. Look, the marshmallow colors are mixed up on the rainbow. Mixed up in the cereal, too. Mixed up marshmallows, oh no! But you can help fix up the mix-up on special boxes of Lucky Charms, part of this complete breakfast. Green horseshoes, help! Thundering across the stars to save the universe from the monster minds. Jay searches for his father to unite the magic root and lead his lightning league to victory over the changing form of Sawboss. Wheeled warriors explode into battle. Lightning strikes. There's a power that comes from deep inside of you.
I thought. That meddling boy and his friends will pass close to the planet Edelbaran. I'm sure they'd like to stop our mining there as soon as we inform them of it. But Excellency, the mining on Edelbaran is crucial to nourishing the sterile planets of our empire. Our nutrient mine on Edelbaran is safe. It's those miserable humans who are not. Kamari's late. Wait, there she is. No monster mine vehicles in sight. Get inside with your brother and sister, quickly. Kamari! I'm afraid, Kamari. I'm not. This is our only chance to be free of the monster mines, just... Just hold on to me now and don't be afraid. Break through the forest field and get our weapons. Quickly, the mining drill is going to explode. field is too strong! Yes, it is. And working very well, I see. Take them away, except for the girl and her brother and sister. Please, they had nothing to do with this. You will do as I say, or you will never see these two humans you seem so fond of again. Oh, Kumari! Kumari! Help us! Now, here is what you will do. Hold still, Oon. Leave me alone, Flora. Oon, you need a bath. I'll rust. Uh-oh. Sorry, Herc. I meant to hit Oon. Hey. Do I look like that sawed-off bucket of bolts? No, Herc. Jace. Herc! Come here. Something most curious. What is it, Gillian? A life pod. The distress signal is very weak, though. I wonder if anyone's in there. It's a person. Entry bay secured. It's a girl. She's barely alive. We must get her to the infirmary quickly. Here, young lady, drink this. It will give you strength. Go on, Kumari. Tell us more about Edelbaran. My people are ready to rebel, but they need help desperately. Easy, Kumari. If we're going to help your people and stop the flow of ore to the monster mines, we need to know everything about Edelbaran. Is there a force field surrounding the city? Yes, and there is a power station that controls it. Why didn't you people just blow up the power station? 
Its walls are fortified and there's no way to get inside. Surely there must be an entry to the power station. Just narrow air shafts. No one could fit through them. There may be a way. How many, many monster mines are there on Eagle Baron? Not many. Without our weapons, they only need a few guards. Who? Well, in that case, we'll be honored to aid my master in the freeing of your planet. Oh, oh. Speak for yourself, Metal Mouth. There's a place where we can land without being seen. Monster Mines never guard it. Great. Come on, Herc. We've got work to do. I really hate it when you say that. Just a moment, child. Ah, there we go. Now I'll be able to see exactly what you're seeing. It's giving me a headache. Or a helmet ache. But with it, you will enable us to shut down the force field. A headache is a small price to pay, my brave wound, for freeing a planet. In that case, I will be my usual heroic self. Yes, Flora. There's something wrong with Kumari. I mean, with what she's telling us. And you feel strongly about your suspicions, Flora? Yes, very strong. Do not worry, my child. Truth is ever yearning to be revealed. The Lightning League will arrive on Edelbaran soon. By the warehouses, as you planned. To ensure, to ensure that you follow through with your mission, Kamari, just, just remember why you're doing it. <laughs> Kamari, I've been looking all over for you. I, I'm feeling so much better. I thought a walk might do me good. Excellent. Come walk with me. Sometimes an old man needs to talk, especially during trying times. Thank heaven you arrived here in your quest to save your people. Chase is the only hope in the entire universe to rid us all of the monster minds. I... I didn't know that. Let me tell you about him and the Lightning League. But why, Master? My duty is to serve you. And you can best serve me by going to the power station with Herc. But the Monster Minds will be sure to see us on this space scooter. Not necessarily, Yoon. Watch closely. Gillian? Without you, it would be impossible to free Edelbaran. It will look so real. Whoa! What? What is this? There she is. Edelbaran, dead ahead. We must land here by the warehouses. No, Chase, we can't. Something will happen. I just know it. Hey, hey, Flora. Come on now. Kumari said it's a safe place to land. Is it Kumari? Is it Kumari? No. Sawboss has my brother and sister. I'll never see them again unless I lead you into his trap. We're out of here. Hold it, Herc. Kumari. We'll still free your brother and sister, and all of Edelbaran. But don't you understand? It's a trap! A trap is a trap only if you don't know it's there. But now we know. We can turn the tables on Sawboss, but you'll have to tell me everything that's going on down there.
right, Gillian. Let's do it. Gillian, I've seen earthquakes steadier than this illusion. It's a difficult spell. And it tends to weaken with time and distance. But it should get you to the power station if you hurry. Hurry up, Herc! Hurry, Flora! Don't worry, Kamari. We'll get your brother and sister back. Did everyone get away from the pride, Gillian? They're on their way, Jace. As Herc would say, I'm gone. Your Excellency, we are ready for the teleportation. The boy and the root are as good as mine. <laughs> Great, we've got company. G -g 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 Gun trooper! Hold on, Oon. Time for a game of Monster Mind Dominoes. I think we lost them. Knock off the racket, Oon. I'm ch, -ch, ch trying her. Let's just wait here just to make sure. No time. Ah! Oh, no! Well, I thought we lost them. Don't cry. Kumari will save us. But where is she? She's leading the Lightning League into a trap and destruction. When that's done, we'll take care of you. Surface and Gillian will pick you up as planned. M Monster Minds! Oh no, I can't fight all of them. Jace, help! The Monster Mines headquarters is still sending reinforcements. Chase, be careful. I'll drive the troopers in circles as long as I can. There's no way the boy will escape. There are far too many of us. Ooh! Ooh! Hmm. This isn't You're work. telling me, please let me out. Steady, Oon. I must see clearly. Steady? With all these mama monster minds around? 
Herc, what are you doing? Herc, how could you do this? How could you take apart a proud warrior? Stow it, Tin Can. This is the only way you'll fit down the air shaft. But it's so dark and a long way down. Gillian, I'm heading for the force field, the north section. You know what to do next. Of course, my boy. I'll take Kamari to the rebels in the abandoned mine shafts. Then I'll bring the lead vehicles to you. Right. Herc, come in. I'm right here, kid. Get in the power station quickly. Leave it up to me. Your master's in a hurry. Isn't there some other way? Nope. When you get down there, pull yourself together and get to work. This is no time for jokes. Who's joking? <laughs> Take care of yourself, Tin Can. Kumari! Finally, we can rid our planet of the monster mines. The Lightning League is here to help us. I saw their fighting machine. They have more vehicles. The League will shut down the force field so we can get to our own weapons. It can't be done. It's too dangerous to try another escape. We don't have time to argue. We must go now. We'll get the people in the mine to bring the mining machines. After seeing the Lightning League's fighting machine, I know the people will follow us. Okay, everyone, follow me. Quick draw, activate defense plan A. Spike truck, activate defense plan A. Drill sergeant. Save your breath, kid. This baby's mine. Chase, Boone is ready to shut down the force field on your command. Got it. Take the pride up, Gillian, and see if Kumari and her people are in sight. This, this is, is the, the end, end of the, of the Lightning, Lightning League. League. Attack! Attack. Cut the switch off, now. This is it, Herc. Let's go. Don't let them reach the weapons. We'll hold the monster mines back. Good luck, Kumari. There will be another time, and then the day will be mine. All right, we'll go through it, Herc. Quick, Gillian, tell Loon to turn the force field on. The monster mines will never get in again, thanks to their own force field. Take yourself apart and hold on, Tin Can. This is no way for a squire to be treated. You did a great service for the Lightning League and for the people of Edel, Baronoon. Yeah, for once you fell apart at the right time. Boy. Ah.
like Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats, and now my dad thinks I'm... Obviously very intelligent. It's so nutritious and fortified with... Sweet frosting! He's living in a time warp! It's exactly what a dignified young lady should eat. Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats are an excellent part of this complete breakfast. It's so nice to have a daughter who really listens. Nintendo Power now comes on marked boxes of Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats. You can get up to $15 back by mail on these Nintendo games. Let the power pay you back. Class, do you believe in magic? And I hope you do. You'll always have a friend wearing big red shoes. Wait, why aren't you guys singing? We're hummingbirds. <laughs> Here come the dinosaurs. Somebody call me? It's McDonald's Dinosaurs Happy Meal with one of six posable Dynamotion-powered dinosaur toys like everybody's favorite... Let me guess! Baby! One toy with every Happy Meal you buy. I come from the net. Through systems, peoples, and cities to this place. Mainframe. My format, Guardian. To mend and defend to defend my newfound friends, their hopes and dreams, to defend them from their enemies. user lives outside the net and inputs games for pleasure. No one knows for sure, but I intend to find out. Reboot! There he is! Yes, what? there we go. I, I, I said there he is. No, 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 no. Look out! Look out! I, 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 look out! I, look away! Okay. Oh, oh, I, 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 ah! Low clock speed or what? Enveloped. He's nice. he's, he's, fine. Fine? He's, he's trash. He's trash. He's trash. Yeah. yeah. He's trash. I don't think so. I hate when I this happens. It's like a no, reckoning. It's, like, it's your yeah, fault, what, and what, I hate my it. My arm. Where's my oh. arm? Sorry, guys. End program. Better luck next cycle. Bob, all I ask is a simple favor, and you put us through all this. Why? Because I never do favors for slime? I don't know. It's just a theory. <sighs> You're only making things difficult for your friends. My friends? What do they have to do with anything? Think about it. Here's a new one. Dots is down. Right. The situation, she is ridiculous. I am a dedicated server, not a maid. Ever heard of a door? Ever heard of a frisket? Bob! We tried to quit Phylum, dude, but it was seriously default. A major surge of goons showed up at the diner and started to completely offline the place. I mean, jack out, crash, crunch, backslash, delete, trash, log off. Enzo. What? I think Bob gets the picture. That's for sure. What I want to know is who and why. It's got to be Megabyte. He did it to get to me. But I'll take care of it. It's my problem. If Megabyte wants something, Bob, it's everybody's problem. 
Yeah, what's up? Tell us, Bob. Yeah, we'll help. I can deal with it. Yeah, but I can't deal with the downtime. Come on, Bob. What is it? <sighs> Megabyte wants some little favor. He didn't say what. Just a little favor, huh? Maybe you should do it if it means we can stay online. No way. Look, this isn't the supercomputer. Around here, we mainframers stick together, and when it comes to Megabyte, the answer is always no. Here, here! Copy and paste that! <laughs> okay, okay, no favors for Mr. Megavirus. I'm gonna file myself right here to make sure he doesn't trash this place again. Can I help Bob, huh? This'll be cool! We'll show him what you guardians are made of. We'll edit, backslash, and cancel his command. I'm not afraid of old Mega Breath. Bail! My, my. What a messy establishment. But we're still in business. Why don't you place an order? To go. Such hostility. I only want to know if there's anything I can do to help the cleanup effort. Hmm? You could erase yourself. That would help. Charming. You know, Bob, all you have to do is input one small favor, and I might be able to keep this from happening again. No promises, of course. Don't concern yourself, Megabyte. I'm staying right here to make sure nothing else happens. I may be the new sprite in town, but... What a fortunate return of events. Warning, incoming game. Warning, incoming game. As usual, they'll all do so badly inside the game. How gratifying. I want three legions in the sector to watch for Bob. He'll try and get in. Oh, your yes, evil eminence! Yes, yes, sir! Yes, sir. You're oh, we bow oh, before thee! Beautiful, we love worthy. Sorry, Bob. You can't play any games until you finish your work for me. I've got to get into that game. Bob, wait! Megabytes thugs would be here. Did I make it? Oh, no, no, no. Can they win without Bob? I hope. Game over. User wins. Game over. User wins. The whole sector's nullified! Offline! They lost! Well, it wasn't your fault. There was nothing you or we could do. If I had just done Megabyte his little favor, none of this would have happened. Wait, before you do anything, why don't you talk to Fong? All right. and proven yourself worthy of my advice. Uh, what did you need? Well, 
Megabyte has asked me to do him a favor. Ah, Megabyte. My advice is to stay away from him. The command comm has tried to erase him at every upgrade, but he's a very clever virus. Yeah, I'm finding that out. He has bad file servers in almost every sector. What is this favor he wants? He won't say. Ah, I see. There is an old readme file that says you should keep your friends close and your enemies even closer. Mega binary idea. You be careful, Guardian Bob. I've seen that look on young sprites before. Don't be rash, and don't do anything on your own. Here in Mainframe, we... I know. I've already heard that speech. You stick together. Don't worry. I'll go back and talk to the others. Thanks. I see now that you're the big circuit in town. I'll throw my chips in with you. Please do come in. Yes, my child? Fong, is Bob still there? you? Oh dear, then I'm afraid he may be at Megabytes. Alone. Alone? I'm glad you finally came to your senses, Bob. Not being from Mainframe, you'll have to forgive me. It's taken me a while to realize the advantages of having a friend like you. A wise decision, Guardian. I won't disappoint you. Leads to the supercomputer. Class 12. Normal pulse. Above average volatility. You guardians certainly know your tears, don't you? That's the idea. It's simple, Bob. All you need to do is stabilize this tear into a portal. That's your favor? That's what you need me for? Precisely. You know only guardians and games dropped by users are able to stabilize tears like these. And I'm so much more intimate with you now than any user, aren't I? And these? Oh, just some, uh, colleagues to make my visit, shall we say, comfortable? Wait. Let a virus like you and your army visit the supercomputer through a stable portal? I don't think so. What guarantee do I have that you won't spread to the supercomputer and raid the armory? None, really. We're going to plan B. 
That's right. Take advantage of Mr. Nice Guy. Dot was right. I should have... Uh, what's plan B? Oh, quite unpleasant, actually. Glitch! Keys! What are you trying to do? Erase me? If necessary. Glitch! There, now let's see you go through. Now, Bob, must we go through all these dramatics again? If necessary. Then I'll take you with me as insurance. How do you know I'm not willing to go through a tear? Psych! Hi, everybody. She started a big guy! A, 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 a melee! A no, no, I did some ruckus! A ruckus! A, a, a riot! riot. It outside! Was a riot. Right Dude, outside! That's what she did. She was awful. Riot? They're harmless. Don't bother me with this now. Take her back to the tower and file lock her in data storage. The tear! Lock down the tear! That was some plan. What plan? I knew if I let Hack and Slash capture me, they'd take me to Megabyte, and I figured you'd be with him. I'm making up the rest as I go along. <laughs> You've been around me too long. <clears throat> So soon? How rude. Warning, incoming cane. Warning, incoming cane. Well, how convenient. <laughs> it seems I won't be needing you after all, Bob. I'm worried about. Where's Megabyte? There, with the user. What's he doing? Viral takeover. He's infecting the user. This is not good. Bummer. Now we got a mega user. He's coming around again. No, he's not. He'll head for the tear. It's a class 12. He knows the game will stabilize it into a portal. Then we've got to beat him there. Alpha Wing clear of deck. Proceed heading 1138. Stay frosty. The tear is now a stable portal at the end of the third level. We've got to nail Megabyte before we can get to it. Roger. Copy that. Affirmative, Wing Leader. We got asteroids dead ahead. He's trying to lose us. Maximum shields. Follow my lead. Right. Keep it tight, people. like he has some friends. Erase those meddlers following me. Hit the 
target icon on the bridge. Target in range. Cover me. I think I've got a shot. Cool shot! There it is, that cave. That's the entrance to the third level. This place is making me dizzy. I'm on it. Time to shut you down, Bob. He's on your tail! Yeah, right. Too cool! You don't have to fight me, Bob. Think about it. We could be a great team. I'd rather be erased. Your choice. had your chance to join me, Bob, but now I'm going to infect the supercomputer and return to Karash Mainframe. Whoa! Just thought I'd drop in. Glitch! Disengage! Game over. It's unstable again. You want to see how much I hate to lose. I'm back. Did you miss me? The tear, it's gone. But how? Just a little command I picked up at the armory. Like these two. What are they? You'll see. Or maybe you won't. Adios. It must have been a return command. They've gone back to the diner. Hurry! Hidden file commands. You gotta love them. Once they were convinced that you and Bob weren't at the diner, Megabyte and his kludge boys split. Man, were they steamed! You know, Bob, Megabyte will never forgive you for this. Never. Whatever. I just hope he's got it straight now. When he messes with one of us, he messes with all of us. Sounds like you've been hanging around me too long. Bob, you gotta tell me, what's it like in the supercomputer? Well, it's got lots of RAM, incredible capacity, and you can access almost anything. It was nice to visit, but it sure is good to be home. Oh, I don't get paid enough for this. Cleanup is not my function. Hershey's Fifth Avenue, it'll make you go. 
Next, get ready for a serious chow down with me. Garfield? America's favorite fat cat. Garfield next on CBS Kid TV. Today, turtle power lives. Cowabunga! They're slamming. Party on, dudette. They're jamming. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles today. Snacks in my house. They were kid stuff until one day. It's Cool Whip time, baby. Was this really happening? Hey, I'm Mr. Cool Whip, the hippest in town. To make your snacks the best around. A little Cool Whip, a cookie or two, and baby, your snacks will be so good. With Cool Whip, those boring snacks would never be the same. How'd you do that? Well, it's Cool Whip time, baby. The future. Mr. Moloch created me, an artificial human codenamed Project GKR. I am known as Geeker, and my synthetic body has almost unlimited power. Moloch plans to use me to conquer the world. But Lady Macbeth, a streetwise thief, stole me before I could receive the programming which would force me to be Moloch's fighting mission. Lady Macbeth was helped by a super intelligent dinosaur, Noah. That's me, Geeker. And that's me. <laughs> it's too bad I can't control my powers better, because Mr. Moloch wants me back really bad. And without Lady Macbeth and Noah, I'd be a bucket of extra crispy. Diary. Boy, did I ever learn a lesson. When a happy clown offers to take you to the circus, just say no. The reprogramming equipment is ready. Could you just help me unzip this costume? Not that it's utterly humiliating or anything. No time for that now, Doctor. Soon, Geeker, you will be completely under my control. With your power, I will conquer the world. Freeze, rat bags! Becky! <sighs> How dramatic. A last-minute rescue. What a shame it failed. What do you mean it... Return Geeker to the containment cylinder. As for the other two... I'm sure you can think of something suitably unpleasant. A blaster! Nobody move! Or I blast your boss! Guys, we're out of here. You idiot! That isn't a blaster! Then I guess you won't mind if I try it out on you! Don't let a press that button! Too slow. I told her it wasn't a weapon. It was my new time displacement unit. And it looks like it worked pretty good. Would you mind explaining what happened, Doctor? It's quite simple. Geeker and his friends have been sent to the future, swapped with an equal amount of mass. So they are in the future. And that's where these machines come from. They have gone forward about a hundred years. They'll swap back when the unit's power runs out. Mind transference beam. How interesting. I believe we can make use of this. the heck are we? More like when. This isn't a blaster, it's some kind of time machine. K-O-O-L. Cool! According to the readout, we're a hundred years in the future. Oh, no. A hundred years? Think how much chocolate monkey technology must have advanced.
chocolate monkeys of tomorrow. Jumbo-licious. <clears throat> yeah, just great. But how are we going to get back? Don't worry. This thing is using a huge amount of power to keep us here. When its charge runs out, we'll return. Hmm, from the power display, I'd say we'll only be here about an hour. Oh, good. We just have to sit tight for an hour and we'll be safe. No need to go out and risk running into dangerous future stuff. Chocolate monkeys of tomorrow! Prepare to be devoured! Kicker, come back! Dangerous out. This can't possibly be good. Emperor Moloch. Beloved ruler of the galaxy. After all we've gone through, trying to keep Moloch from capturing Geeker and conquering the world. We failed. We might as well never have tried. This is a moment calling for great words of wisdom. It's not whether you win or lose, it's how many chickens you count before they hatch. <laughs> a winner never quits, and one man's meat is another man's poison. Mm. Now get in there and win one for the geeker. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to believe we failed with a genius like you around. Someone's coming. Run for your life! The Avatar is coming! Ah! Where is he? He was right behind! The Avatar! You have been found guilty of thoughts against the Empire. You will be taken to the reprogramming camps. That glowing guy must be the Avatar they were talking about. Jumpin' Jinkies, he's powerful. But what is he? <gasps> oh my gosh. Geeker. The Avatar is you! Someone is hiding in the shadows. Get them! Run! That door, hurry! We've lost them. Is this place? Imperial subjects, welcome to the Hall of Moloch's enemies. It's okay. It's just a recording. Here, all may come to view those who have defied the Emperor. And learn from their example. Glory to Moloch! Long may he reign! got to stop this from happening. It's already happened. Moloch captured Geeker and used his power to conquer the galaxy. We can't stop it. Stow the defeatist talk, soldier! Here are your marching orders. One, find out how I was captured. Two, go back and prevent it. Three. Buy me a chocolate monkey. Geeker's right. Loopy is a phone cord, but right. Now, how are we gonna find out how he was captured? I have an idea. We'll ask me. Gosh, I didn't know scales could get that wrinkled. This thing is incredibly advanced. 
It doesn't even have any parts. I'll never figure it out. Failure is not an option, Doctor. Well, I, I could make a copy of it in the molecular duplicator. Superb. Reach the zipper on this costume. No time for that now. I have a plan to formulate. Keep getting sick of that skinny mustache creep. Oh, this is horrible. So you're a little old. Big deal. Just think how much wisdom you must have gained over the years. Is that the pizza man? I hope you didn't forget the anchovies this time. Okay. Forget the wisdom thing. Noah? Noah, can you hear me? Oh! Is that you, Mama? Oh, boy. Noah, we need to know how Moloch caught Geeker. When did it happen? Ah, it was so long ago. So long... On the day, the day it rained chocolate monkeys! He's... I'm completely out of it. I can't watch this. Uh, the, the eyes! The eyes! Beware the eyes! Okay, okay, big fella. Let's take one teeny step closer to Logic Land. Noah, is there any way we can stop Moloch from capturing Geeker? You must have some idea. I've thought about it for years, so many years, and I have an idea I think might have worked. Yes? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Is it me or is he a few cocktail francs short of an hors d'oeuvre platter? <sighs> well, Dino's lived a long time, but he's been locked up for a hundred years. He's pretty far gone. Oh, we're not gonna get anything out of him. We've only got about a minute left before this thingy runs out of power and we go back to the past. Uh, how you feeling, Noah? How do you think I'm feeling? I've just seen what the rest of my life will be, rotting in a cell. There's no hope. For me, for any of us. When we get back, we might as well just hand you over to Moa. The dino is right. You haven't got a chance. If only I had my blaster. Why? We won't hurt you. Soon you will return to your own time, and Geeker will fall into my hands. Shouldn't Moloch be really old? Who cares? Excuse me, Mr. Cranky. I just wanted to see you before you went back. For my own amusement. Maybe you'll be amused by this. <laughs> That'll teach you to... <gasps> Look! He's a robot. That's why he hasn't aged. Becky, the time thing, he's almost out of power. Okay, Avatar. Where's the real Moloch? You fools. I am Moloch. <laughs> ah, got it just in time. Here's your mind transference beam. Superb. Get ready to use it when Geeker and his friends reappear. When they, when they what? Shouldn't they have reappeared when the mind transference beam vanished? Of course they wouldn't reappear here. They didn't stay in the same place in the future, so they didn't come back to the same place. Don't you know anything? Now will you please help me reach the stepper? No time for that now, Doctor. Stonebender, on screen. Yes, sir. I want every pinker in the city out searching for Geeker. Now! I'll get that will be all. Diary? When Noah saw himself old and wrinkly, it just took all the fight out of him. But I'm sure his buoyant spirit will recover soon. 
we're doomed. Moloch will rule the galaxy and I'll be a babbling old loony. There's nothing we can do. Listen, I'm no good at sensitive stuff, Noah. But I feel like I should say something to, to cheer you up. So, quit being depressed right now! Oh. oh, I think your approach might be just a wee bit off. Let me try. I know what'll cheer you up. And we'll do something fun. Like play miniature golf. Or sing campfire songs. La, la, la. I know. We'll do the funnest thing of all. We'll tour the chocolate monkey factory. Geeker, I don't think. They mix the chocolate. And, and, and that's the machine that spits out the finished monkeys. That's where the geniuses behind the chocolate monkey develop new ideas like the unpopular chocolate squid. Is Noah happy yet? About as happy as a snail in a salt shaker. Oh, I can't believe you. If the chocolate monkey factory won't cheer you up, nothing will. I'm ready to turn myself over to the pinkers just to get out of your bad vibe zone. Anyway. Don't worry, I'll handle this. Fire at will! After him! Mm. This way! Kelky, Arda Kelky. It's it's raining chocolate monkeys, just like the old Noah said. This must be the day Mola captures you, Geeker. You see, we're doomed. Listen, you walking buzzkill. That attitude won't get us anywhere. Nothing will get us anywhere. I guess old Noah wasn't as spaced out as we thought. What else did he say? He said... The eyes! Beware the eyes! We gotta get out of here! I don't see any eyes we gotta beware. We'll be safe here for a while. Good, because I'm tired of running. Moloch's just gonna get us anyway. I don't care how depressed you are, Noah. If Moloch attacks, you darn well better help. You can fight the inevitable if you want, but count me out. Boy, Noah's really sad. Geeker, you have got to find some way to snap him out of this. I am so on top of that. There's got to be something that'll get Noah out of this mood. You got any ideas, Lefty? Yeah, Noah needs our support during this difficult time. How about a hug? Maybe. A hug? You stinking left hands are all alike. Listen to Randy, Geek Boy. That dino needs some tough love. <laughs> <sighs> well, I... You can't force Noah to feel better. He needs a warm fuzzy. <sighs> um... You'll make a mess of everything. Resorting to violence again, eh? Bleeding heart. Fascist. Hey, 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 guys, 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 guys. You're gonna make a mess.
I'm a stunt. Stop it! Well, I do. I'm going to crack your knuckles. You try it. It's the last time I ask you two for a hand. Out of commission. Give me a hand with these big eyes. Big eyes. Big. Beware the eyes. Old Noah meant the letter I. I told you we were doomed. Ah, oh, geeker. So good to see you. Don't be fooled. Doctor Maston isn't really a happy clown. I'll bear that in mind. Noah, help us move this thing. Why? We've already lost. Now, Geeker, I will transfer my mind into your body and yours into mine. With the power of your artificial body, I will conquer the world. D do something, Noah! I've given up trying to change the future. There's no hope. You can't give up! There's always hope! Now, what did old Noah say? Mirror, mirror. On the wall! Stop, or the pinkers will blast your friends. Ooh. Well, it looks like you win, Mr. Moloch. Activate the beam, Doctor. Never gave up. Which means I can't give up because I'm him. Bingo. Come on, let's kick some butt. Good to have you back, Noah. So, should we blast him? I don't know. Ask Mr. Mola. <laughs> Mr. Moloch, should we blast those guys now? What are you asking me for? I'm Mastin! Hey, where's my trunk? No! This isn't Geeker's body. Who's... Oh, no. Oh, I knew something would go wrong, you idiot! I want my tusks back! Bye-bye. Let's get while the getting's good. I love it when you talk, folksy. I told you it was risky to use this thing. Now I've got to figure out how to switch us back. Yes, you do. But first, help me reach the zipper on this clown suit. There's no time for that now, huh? See how you like it. Kika. The Ace Man's on the case, man, so buckle up tight. Ace Ventura's in the house with new episodes. All right, CBS Kids in the house next. Surprise bundle from the Magic Nursery. Bundle baby, my bundle baby. I can use a heartbeat. Wow. I can feel a baby kiss me. Amazing. Is it a girl or a boy? It's a girl. She's a bundle of joy. Bundle baby, how I love you so. And our hearts will be together. <gasps> She's kicking again. Everywhere we go. Bundle baby, my bundle baby. The doll that lets you feel the kick and hear the heartbeat. Batteries not included, each sold separately. 
Texas Hershey's Chocolates. Hershey's. Placid. Milk it. Squeeze it. Stir it. Sip it. Love it. Hershey's. Now that's chocolate ease. Are the tales of the skeleton warriors. Skeleton warriors! Skeleton warriors! Skeleton warriors! In a world at war, is neutrality a genuine option? Must all parties take sides, or may a few remain apart, indifferent to the battles raging all around them? And what if that conflict arrives at your own front door? This is Berendark's latest project, the Gorgon. The Gorgon is an all-weather flying battleship. It has nearly unlimited range, is heavily armed, and it is nearly indestructible due to an onboard ion shield generator. Dr. Cyborg completes flight tests and the Gorgon becomes operational. We may never be able to stop it. Cyborn didn't build this thing just to stop our rebellion. No. That is why Lightstar and Talon's diplomatic mission must succeed. If they fail, Baron Dark will be free to use this ship to conquer the planet. You know what sticklers the Simeonites are about protocol. Besides, their isolationist policy has made them downright suspicious of anything that flies. We must convince them that Baron Dark is a real threat. Remember, stay calm and be polite. You think Baron Dark will bother with pleasantries when he sends that death ship of his out to conquer the world? Look, the Simeonites are touchy. If you offend them somehow, we'll blow any hope of forming an alliance. Relax. Back in print school, I got a perfect score on my diplomacy test. Announcing their royal highnesses. Prince Regent Justin and Princess Jennifer, late of luminosity. Yes. Your, Your Majesty? Majesty. <clears throat> so, you've come in spite of my assurances that we have no interest in forming alliances with anyone. We must form an alliance to defeat a ruthless, devious enemy, or we will all perish. What? Oh, my. You may want to double-check that test score. Will you help us? Sorry, honey buns. But you're a little late. <laughs> Your Majesty, are you all right? You? Oh, what, what the? How dare you draw your weapons in my presence? I have never been so offended in my entire life. But, Your Majesty, we just saved your life. That's why we're here. You came here to blow apart peaceful ambassadors. How unspeakably rude. No, Your Majesty, you don't understand. 
I am Donagon, king of the Simeonites. Therefore, I understand everything. <laughs> Such poor manners, so uncouth. While we is, it are the essence of couth. We got couth coming out of our ears. We come in peace. And to buy fuel from that refinery you got outside of town. What about the collapse of our own kingdom at the hands of these creatures? Child, we hear much, but hear little. We're secure here on our island and invulnerable to attack. Please take a look at this surveillance disc of Dark's latest little toy. Then decide how invulnerable you really are. Whatever's on the disc is a fake, filthy, sneaky, disgusting lies. Enough! Such boorish behavior w will not be tolerated. Oh, I, 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 I have decided to weigh the evidence and the offers from both sides. In, hold on, that's being fair. We shall discuss this in a civilized manner tomorrow. Tonight, we die. Hello, Baron. Do you read us? Barely. How goes our peace mission? <laughs> oh, the stupid twins don't suspect a thing. We got the meat out of our hands. Thank you, Dagger. That was touching. Now, Shriek, what's really going on? We were doing great. Till Talon and Lightstar showed up, they want to sign a treaty with the apes to fight you. What? There must be no treaty. Lightstar and Talon must be stopped immediately. And I've just come up with the most wonderfully rotten idea, Baron. I expected no less. Dark out. Dr. Cyborg! You bleated, Baron? What is the status of the Gorgon? We need two days to complete our tests. Make it one. Baron, this is unproven technology. One, Doctor. The sooner we launch the Gorgon, the sooner we can pay the Simeonites a very different sort of visit. <laughs> Remember, we want these big apes to slam Prince Lightweight and his sister in the dungeon, so look for some way to offend someone. But if we do that, won't we end up in the dungeon as well? That's the point. Right. Offend someone's dungeon. Got it, back. <laughs> Needless to say, we had to fill the moat again. Ah, King Duddlegong. May I make you a plate? Ah, <laughs> Ambassador Shriek. Well, that would be most polite. <laughs> Actually, I was doing just that. Better make sure Ape Boy gets plenty of bananas, babe. Hush! If you offend Dodagarn, we may all be out on our backsides. Lucky you've got so much padding. Oh, aren't you enjoying the party? Oh, your Majesty. Oh, yes, it's very nice. It's just that... Well, it reminds me of the parties my parents used to host. Oh, is that so? Yes. This is the first state function I've enjoyed since the collapse of Luminicity. My father would have enjoyed this so... <sighs> I'm sorry, I I'm spoiling your party. Oh, quite all right, my boy. Quite all right. All right, all right, everyone. Time for the dance! Oh, don't be so glum, pretty boy. It's fate. We were meant for each other. Mmm. How about a little smooch? I'd rather suck Transmonia death stones. I'll see what I can arrange. It's been going on all night. It, it, it's like they want to pick a fight. So don't bite the bait. Perfect manners, remember? I know, but I don't have to like it. Your Majesty, look what she did to me, to us. Please, it was an accident. Oh no, she's going to hit me. No, I'm not. 
Not all witnesses. It's self-defense. Everybody down! Don't get away! Don't get it! Paws off me, you big ape! Oh, ape! Did you say ape? No, no, I didn't. She did. Enough! This barbarous behavior ends now. Guards, take them all to the dungeon. You shall regret your crude behavior for a long time. A very long time. Ship. I can get us in there. Any luck raising Light Star and Talon? No. Our comlinks don't have the range. And we can't wait for them to return. Agreed. Short-handed or not, we must get inside the Gorgon and sink it. you two would do everything backwards. You could have gotten rid of the guards with your handy hand blasters or flown the coop right then and there. Oh, but I forgot. That would have been rude, right? <laughs> well, there's no one watching now. You seem mighty pleased that we're stuck in this pit, Shriek. What I want to know is why. We can't negotiate a treaty, but you can't negotiate a fuel deal either. <laughs> I planted the rest of the explosives. Good. As soon as we get out of here, I'll use this detonator to blow the Gorgon to bits right where it sits. But this is an hour ahead of schedule. No more delays, Doctor. Lift off! If you insist, Baron. Activate Ion Shield! Now! Ship, it's taking off. And they've activated the force field. I'll shadow leap us out of here. No! If we try to traverse the Ion Shield, we'll be vaporized. Hmm, might as well make the most of what little time Principal's got left. <laughs> You're joking, right? Watch and learn. Be honest, Justin. Don't you get a little tired of playing soldier with your sister? Yeah, sometimes. Excuse me? Back off, sis. Shriek's right. I've had it with my royal duty. Join us. Then you and me could have some real fun. I think I'm gonna be sick. I've always wanted to be closer to Shriek. Now's the perfect time. Has anyone ever told you that you have beautiful bones? I'm sure there's a handsome skeleton under all that awful flesh. Well, what are we waiting for? Shall we seal it with a kiss? I thought you'd never ask. The romance is over. Don't mind if I take back my pin! What's the rush, Dagger? Uh, we can't stay here! It's a death trap! It's a tomb! Why? What do you know? What's happening? Don't tell him! Uh, now, now. It's not polite to interrupt. All right. You see, the Baron wants the fuel from the refinery the Simeonites got. Except... Except? Except the Baron don't plan to pay. He's just gonna flatten the island and take over the refinery for himself. 
Of course! Nobody think he'd attack when his own ambassadors were here. Only when you were skeletons, it didn't matter. You'd just reassemble after he stopped bouncing the rubble. Except now that you're flesh and blood. <laughs> we'll draw along with the rest of you! <laughs> No! It's the Baron! He's here! Look, if any of us want to survive, we've got to work together. Oh, yes, absolutely, whatever you say. <laughs> You're the boss. <laughs> What's the plan? No! Oh, you coward! You'd do anything to save your little chicken weasel hide. Right. So, what's your point? Okay, we're in. Good. Now let's hope Baron Dark's a better shot than I thought. Did I miss something else? <laughs> the anti-grav engines! I'm tired of excuses, Doctor! Faster! Lightstar, you'll blast yourself to pieces! Not if I can catch it when the power fails! Mm, what do you know? It worked. You're welcome. Curse my clumsy hands! I'll get it! Too late. All hands! There are intruders on board! Find them! Come on, the communications room is this way. All right, we'll open a comm link. Then you two get Dark to call off his raid. How? I don't know. Lie. You're good at that. I mean, that really hurt! This flesh is useless! Stupid skin only does its hinge. Channel's open. Okay, it's up to- <gasps> Careful with those hand blasters, Pensipoo. Wouldn't want this sword to slip, now would you? How can you do this to the Simeonites? Don't be fooled by appearances, dog. Inside, we're still skeleton warriors. Right! Who cares about a bunch of apes? <clears throat> For the last time! Don't call us apes! King Donagon! How rude of that bad and dark person to arrive without an invitation. The ship's nearly at the refinery. Sire, your anti-aircraft cannons won't crack the battleship's ion shield. We need something a lot bigger. Well then, we must blow up the fuel plant as their ship flies over it. But that refinery is our kingdom's livelihood. Can't let that beast dark destroy the whole planet now, can we? What can I do to help? Good luck, both of you. Thank you, ma'am. We'll need it. I like those two. Ugh, I'll handle him. You handle the shield. Already on. Yeah! Cannon and light star still alive! Launch all intercept teams!
Star. Right here. Anybody want to lift? <laughs> On behalf of Simeana, I thank you. You saved us from a perfectly ghastly fate. But ruined your refinery in the process. Oh, pish posh. Refineries can be rebuilt. Lives, however, cannot. Perhaps now together. We can defeat the skeleton warriors. Working together with others, that's a skill we Simeonites would be most interested in acquiring now. Ah, Dagger, I see you've put a little meat on your bone. Oh, it was horrible, man. It was horrible. And look what they've done to us. Please let me a skeleton warrior again. Please. And I'll make you a skeleton dagger. But first, we're going to play a little game. No! 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 Can anyone remain truly neutral in the battle between darkness and light? Can you? It's solid gold. Crispy Crunch, we got a munch. Makes that golden taste explode. Can't get enough of that golden taste. Can't get enough golden crisp. So to make your morning golden, get the flavor going fast. It's Golden Crisp Cereal, the golden tasting blast. Can't get enough of that golden taste. Can't get enough golden crisp. It's the golden tasting part of this complete breakfast. What's happening in the cabbage patch? Teeny tiny preemies you can adopt. You're extra small and extra sweet. You got teeny tiny hands. Teeny tiny preemies come with a hospital bracelet, each purchase separately.
Sector 7! Guidance system's failing! Uh, oh, man! This is ridiculous! We're an exploration ship, not a battle cruiser! Yeah, no choice. Our ship was the only one that could lock onto Megatron's warp signature. Shields are doing a major fade! Plasma cannons to full power! Their shields are down! Destroy them! Now, where's the fun in that? A little torment, I think, first? Yes! Side guns! Stasis hold is failing! No! Oh, we're going down. <laughs> Launch all pods. Get them into safe orbit. Believe me, you don't want to know. Uh, that's what I thought. Navigation! Is this the right planet? Unknown. Course settings were accurate, but readings are inconsistent with those expected for intended destination. Never mind that! Tell me, there is Energon here. Confirmed. Yes! The planet has Energon. Too much Energon. Field readings are off the scale. Continued exposure to robotic forms will result in permanent damage. Oh. Then we will create alternate forms based on the most powerful local creatures. Scanners! Activated! Replication of local life forms complete. You may emerge. Wow! Hey, look at me! I'm a cheetah! N no, no, I'm Cheetor! Hmm, interesting. Interesting? Optimus, the word is spot on smooth. <laughs> it's a crime. A bit tacky. <laughs> you never had taste, did you, kid? Now this, <laughs> this is what class is all about. Call me Rat Trap. Oh, yeah? How's about I cut Mises to pieces? He's back, Cheetor. Living large is for forms like me, Rhinox. Yeah, yeah, and just consider yourself lucky I didn't get rough on you. Moderate your conflict circuits, Maximals. Remember, these beast forms are to protect us from the long-term effects of the Energon fields out there. We may need Energon for power, but this is too much of a good thing. 
Our robot forms will start to short out after a few minutes exposure. This is one unusual planet, whatever it is. Or whenever. The transwarp drive can go through space and time. We were locked onto Megatron's warp signature. We could be any place, any time. Yes, and our crew is orbiting the planet in those stasis pods we lost in battle. They're protected from the energon fields, but it means Megatron has us outnumbered. when you had the chance. You failed to bring us to the right planet. We stole the golden disk for nothing. You idiot! I beg your pardon? What did you call me? You heard. You are an idiot and an incompetent leader. And I am taking over. Dinobot. Rise. I challenge you to battle Megatron. The winner shall lead the Predacons, and the loser shall be destroyed. Oh, you're so impulsive, Dinobot. Brave, but misguided. Do you accept my challenge? <laughs> There's more to being a leader than simple courage. Well, there's cleverness and cunning as well. Isn't that right, Scorpionock? <laughs> Loser. What does it matter which planet we're on? We came looking for Energon, and this planet is rich with the element. Enough Energon to power the Predacons' entire galactic conquest. Only the Maximals could give us trouble now. If they survive the crash, find them. And if you find them, destroy them. was Cybertron's most carefully guarded relic, Rat Trap. It gave the location of a major Energon source. That's why Megatron stole it. <laughs> yeah, like I care. You know, we were supposed to be doing deep space exploration. <laughs> Playing Galactic Patrol wasn't nowhere in my job description, you know what I'm saying? You sure you cut out for this commander gig? Uh, remember the Great War, Rat Trap. If the Predacons get enough Energon, they'll start it again. We can't let that happen. Besides, you wanted exploration, and here we are on an unknown planet. What more do you want? Well, uh, call me picky, but a working spacecraft might be nice. <sighs> Just no pleasing some people. Hey, check it! <sighs> They're fast, all right. You chose a good form. Hey, you think that speed? You ain't seen the golden rocket. Check this! Cheetor, no! Cheetor, return to base immediately. We don't have time for this. Cheetor, please respond. No good. The Energon fields mess up the comlinks. Anything over a hundred meters, they ain't worth scrap. Well, that's just prime. So, uh, this is your first day in the job, or what? Shut up, Rat Trap. Oh, yes, sir. You know, I feel just heaps better knowing that our lives are in your capable hands. We're all gonna die. <laughs> the name 
name's Cheater. What's shaking, cats? What? Is it my breath? Hey, hey, wait! Those two reacted, that's no natural life form. And if we're talking unnatural life forms, then we gotta be talking about just one thing. Robots in disguise! Cheater! Maximize! <laughs> Time for this cat to bounce! <laughs> One Spinator under attack! One Spinator engage enemy! One Spinator terrorize! <laughs> on that, Maximals. No. <laughs> For I believe that you are soon to have, how shall I put it, difficulties of your own. Yes. We don't have to do this, Megatron. There has been peace between the Maximals and Predacons for centuries. Why start this up again? Peace, perhaps on your side, Maximal scum. Yes, but not on ours. Permit me to inform you that an enemy which appears to be peaceful may in fact be merely biding its time. <laughs> Finally! We Predacons have never abandoned our rightful goal of galactic conquest. Lo, no, we have merely been waiting for the right moment to strike! You mean like this? <laughs> Cheater! Ah, oh, a treacherous, underhanded sneak attack. Oh, I like you, Pussycat. Yes. But it shall avail you not. No. For now, the power gauntlet has been cast. Predacons, terrorize! Do it. Maximize! Tarantulas, terrorize! <laughs> Rhinox, maximize! <laughs> Megatron, terrorize! <laughs> Optimus, maximize! <laughs> now, obliterate them!
I'm... I'm stuck! Rat Trap, help Chiro! We'll cover you! <laughs> yeah, right! That's an order, Rat Trap! Yeah? And you can just kiss my skid plate, Fearless Leader, cause I ain't going out there and getting my pelt punctured! Ugh! So bent. Let's get one thing straight, Rat Trap. I am commander of this group, and when I give an order, I expect it to be obeyed. Oh, yeah? So I get vaped because you're too chicken to go yourself. I will not give an order I would not be willing to do myself. But I was capable of giving you better cover fire. You were not. Ick. Come on, what are you shorting about? We got out of there alive, didn't we? But injured. It'll take time for our beast forms to affect internal repairs. Yeah, yeah, well, better you than me. I think we gave him the fade, Optimus. Keep your sensors on full. According to the Golden Disc theft reports, there were six Predacons. One of them was missing from the battle. Yeah, well, uh, maybe he was destroyed in the crash. That kind of luck we haven't been getting much of lately. Tell me about it. Look! Should we blast them? Keep that option open, but hang on. Attention, Maximals! My name is Dinobot. I have left the Predacons to join your group as leader. What? Did I hear the word leader? This guy's got bearings of chrome steel. I hereby challenge you, Optimus Primal, to a one-on-one -on -one battle. The winner shall lead the Maximals, and the loser shall be destroyed. Next time on Beast Wars. Fire! Energon! Yes! With the crystal that size, the Predacon forces will be unstoppable. Station. We kids have been straining our brains to create this totally tasty snack. 
Dan and Sprinklin's. Creamy yogurt with a pack of sprinkles. We make them in six preposterous flavors, like strawberry over there at the Strawberry Jammer. There's the banana dudes hanging out and great. That's quite a feat. But the secret to making sprinklings truly stupendous, let her rip, is sprinkles. You can make the wildest taste you ever put in your face. Dan and Sprinklings, the only yogurt snack with a sprinkles pack. I'm Sir chomps a lot. I've lost control for these little raviolis in this great big bowl. Do the chomp! It's a ravioli romp. Do the chomp! Your feet are to stomp. Do the chomp! Do the chomp! Do the chomp! Chef Boyardee Sir chomps a lot. Bite-sized beef or cheese ravioli so good, you just gotta... Do the chomp! Excuse me, <laughs> while I chomp. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee! Full dragon belt, man. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Yeah. Turbo, now you decide to practice? You should have practiced before you fought me. You were lucky last time. Any day, any time, I could beat you at anything. Cool. Sounds like a challenge if I ever heard one. You got something in mind, Turbo? You guys are all talk. Blowhardo and <laughs> Blah Warrior. But out, machine. You and me, Star Warrior, a test of strength. We'll let Ying Yang decide the contest. You're on. All right. I have an idea. It may the best man win. You know, if he makes it to four man dome match today and wins, Warlock's gonna reach full Dragon Belt. Yeah. We just might make it to the dome. But the only way he's gonna win is over my dead body. Universal Studios Florida. It's WMAC Masters. They're the world's greatest martial artists competing for the ultimate prize. Olympus. The Machine. Superstar. Red Dragon. Great Wolf. Tiger Claw. Yin Yang Man. Tsunami. Star Warrior. Turbo. Their quest, reach full Dragon Belt, then go for the Dragon Star itself. The World Martial Arts Council presents WMAC Masters. Today, six of the WMAC Masters shall compete in the Super Challenge. Each athlete has 45 seconds against ninjas. Clean hits worth two points. Knockdowns worth five points. Points subtracted if athlete is hit or knocked down by ninja. Top four scores qualify for a battle down free for all. J.D. Webster, Key Symbol, Great Wolf, Dragon Belt Status, Seven. Ninjas surround Great Wolf. Engage. Disengage. Great Wolf. Final score, 75. Current rank, first place. Five competitors remain. All right! Way to go, Jamie! Yeah. All right, guys, turn around. You're going to be watching the rest of the competition upside down. The contest is simple. Whoever hangs on the longest is the winner. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Set? So Turbo, we finally got you suspended. You know what? It's about time. Hey, Ho Young, you can beat him. Remember? The key to your strength is right here. The key to your weakness is right here. Hey, Turbo. What? Your fly's open. <laughs> Carmichael 
Simon, T Symbol, Kid, Dragon Belt Status, One. Ninjas, surround Kid. Engage. Ninjas, disengage. Kid, final score, 74. Current rank, second place. Four competitors remain. You're hanging on first place by a thread, buddy boy. A one-point lead is still a lead. Warlock's looking pretty sure of himself. He's not smart enough to be worried. WMAC Masters will be right back. How's it going, guys? I feel like a side of beef. You look like an order of Wushu Park. So who's up next? The machine. Hakeem Halston, key symbol, the machine, second degree dragon belt, status zero. Ninjas, surround machine, engage. Disengage. Machine final score, 92. Current rank, first place. Three competitors remain. Machine's a lock for the dome. Who else do you think he's gonna make it? Tsunami's a shoe in Besides from me, he's the only guy that's ever won a four-man dome. Yeah, let's see if he can do it again. I don't think so. He and the Gwyn, key symbol, tsunami, dragon belt status, five. Ninjas surround tsunami. Engage. Ninjas, disengage. Tsunami final score, 88. Current rank, second place. Well, I guess that leaves just you and Tiger Claw. And then, I'm on my way to the four-man dome. Don't be so confident. Just remember the strategy we worked out. Hey, what's up with Tiger Claw anyway? I'm telling you, he's on to us. On to you, maybe. Look, you just worry about reaching full Dragon Belt. I'll worry about Tiger Claw. Filmed at Universal Studios Florida, where you can ride the movies. WMAC Masters will be right back. It's hard. 
leadership of the WMAC is continuing Master Blaster performance competition. Willie Johnson, key symbol, BAM, and his son, Little BAM, shall demonstrate their family's form, the rite of passage. Bam! Remove the hair. before him and his father before him on this his 12th birthday little bam shall now receive a weapon truly of his own making the willy whip shall be on Little Bam's 21st birthday when he will have grown his adult Willy Whip to its full length. Congratulations from the World Martial Arts Council. Larry Clown, Key Symbol, Warlock, Dragon Belt Status, 7. Ninjas Surround Warlock. Engage. Disengage. Warlock final score, 86. Current rank, third place. One competitor remains. Now it's off the Tiger Claw. I bet he chokes. Yeah? How much should I bet? Why don't you worry about one bet at a time? Johnny Lee Smith, key symbol, Tiger Claw. Dragon Belt Status, 7. Ninjas, surround Tiger Claw. Engage!
Ninjas, disengage. Tiger Claw, final score, 86. Final results, top four scores. Machine, Tsunami, Tiger Claw, Warlock, qualified for Battle Dome Finals, next. WMAC Masters will be right back. Now back to WMAC Masters. to force opponents into frame of cage. Each score worth one point. When Dome rises, highest score wins. Ties settled by sudden death. Battle Dome Finals. Machine. Tsunami. Tiger Claw. Warlock. agent or something I just want to see the best man win that's all yeah right so feeling a little worn out are you no you neither by order of the world martial arts council today's winner warlock representing kung fu shall receive the key symbols of his opponents in the ceremony of the Dragon Belt. The Machine, representing kickboxing. Tsunami, representing Kung Fu. Tiger Claw, representing Shorin Ru. Warlock, 
Dragon Belt status, full. Dragon Star Championship match versus Red Dragon scheduled for next week. What's with Tiger Claw? Yeah, no one's ever just walked out like that. He's got his reasons. Filmed at Universal Studios Florida, where you can ride the movies. Family is one of the very cornerstones of the martial arts. For centuries, techniques of the Grand Masters were handed down to their children, who then taught their children. Today's WMAC schools emphasize family as a very important part of the overall martial arts experience. We're all about family at the WMAC. Good night, guys. Good luck. You give up yet? No. Do you? No. Fine. Okay. I should have gone to the bathroom before I started this. Loser. It's Pizza Pack. You get a personal pan pizza, cup, and cool surprise. Hey, you've earned it. So Aunt Dottie wants to kiss you. To play this game, you need more than the love. You need a ball, like the new street ball. It's a Rawlings, and it's yours for $4.99 when your parents buy any pizza at Pizza Hut. Want a game? After all, how can you play ball without the ball? <laughs> Watch me trick Fred out of his fruity pebbles. Space Police, the alien has landed. The alien? He's after the fruitiest cereal in Bedrock. Not my delicious fruity pebbles. You, check under the bed. Yes, sir. Well, I check out your fruity pebbles. Mmm, fruity full orange, lemon, lime, grape, and cherry. Yikes, the alien! <laughs> Dino? Bonnie, my pebbles! <laughs> They're out of this world. A fruity pebble cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Seven centuries have passed since the Earth plunged into darkness. Seven centuries since the Jetiter swore to regain for man his lost knowledge and freedom. All the immortals took the oath, all except one who dominates the world. But soon an immortal will come to confront him. His name is Quentin MacLeod. He is the Highlander. You call that fighting? Better, better! Try this one! Ha <laughs> ha, Mr. Mm -hmm. Gad Ramirez! Well, well, you're finally beginning to catch on, McCloud. <laughs> You'll pay for that, Iraq! <laughs> Yeah. 
still eat your words, Goth. You're mine now. What is the cause of this disturbance? They disagree on the best way to capture slaves. Oh. Brutes! Wakanda cannot tolerate this kind of behavior! Not bad! Not bad! Now let's see how fast you are! Aha! Uh -huh. Not so easy now, is it? Wait, Ramirez, stop. I'm... I didn't catch that. That's enough, Ramirez. I'm right on the edge. Give me your hand. You have to conquer your fear of heights. Look straight ahead. Concentrate. I can't! Fight! Cloud, you're immortal. <laughs> That's his idea of a joke. You've still got a lot to learn. Hmm. Lord Cortan, Mogonda is at this very moment a cauldron of uncontrolled violence. It is unworthy of our great city. <laughs> but my dear Esclapios, Mogonda built its empire on violence. <laughs> but this time it's a question of a duel between two of our best men, Major Gorth and Major Arak. Ooh, Gorth and Arak. <gasps> They hate each other. We may lose one of our best men. Or maybe two. <laughs> you find that amusing, Malone? No! But I have a solution, my lord. Let our majors each choose a slave who will fight in their place. Of of course, it would be beneath you to get personally involved in such a ridiculous duel. Just leave the details to me. So be it. But I want this problem solved. It will be! This is going to be fun. <laughs> Stop this fighting! I mean, Lord Cortan orders you to stop this fighting. <laughs> Lord Cortan has decided that a duel fought by slaves will settle your differences. <laughs> what? But that's ridiculous. Of course, you have no say in the matter. Now don't insist. You're not ready. But... Olak will never agree to transfer his knowledge of the winds to you. You cannot deceive him. I panicked, Ramirez, that's all. I promise it won't happen again. Are you sure? Positive. No, I know, Olak. He'll never do it. Please, Ramirez. You lack concentration. It's just because I happen to look down. Listen, it won't happen again. I give you my word. I want to believe you. You really think you're ready? When do we leave? <laughs> Let's go, McLeod. Don't take 
too long, son. Olak has predicted a hailstorm. I'm just going to put the grayfish nets in the creeks. Hunters? Here? Stay where you are, Donnelly. Quick! He's escaping! The Hunters! Come on, get him! No! Not so fast. I have a message for Killy. Tell him he's to come to Moganda to fight a duel. Or his son will fight for him. <laughs> What's going on? Our chief must go to Magonda to fight a duel. In Magonda? <clears throat> Arak has kidnapped his son. Arak? <clears throat> Is Olak here? Why? Inform him that Ramirez and the Highlander have arrived. <clears throat> Look at all those birds, Gaul. Come on, Gaul, come on. <clears throat> Where's Clyde? That way. Something's wrong. Clayton! Clayton! I'm coming! Don't move! Come back, boy. You'll never make it! Don't look down! Ah! Don't look down. Don't look down. Don't look down. I'm coming, Clyde! Just concentrate, Quentin! Secure your holds! I can't. I can't move, Ramirez. Well, come back then, but don't just stand there. I... I'm going to fall. I'm going to get the girl. Hold on tight. I can't! Your hand! Hurry! <laughs> ah! 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 My leg! It's broken! Killian could have been killed! He's not immortal like you! This young boy is too impulsive. Now Kilian won't be able to go to Mogonda. Jan will have to fight in his place. I will not hand over my powers to an impulsive young boy. It's all my fault. Jan is going to die because of me. Why did I do that? Listen, Olak. Young MacLeod is a brave lad. Your knowledge will help him conquer his fear of heights. He lacks maturity. He's still a child. A child who will one day be able to challenge and defeat Cortan with your help. You're wasting your time. My mind is made up. Ramirez! Quentin's gone! Gone? He said he was going to Magonda to take Jan's place in the duel and prove to you that he's not a coward. A fool. He's running right into the lion's den. 
If the boy is everything you say he is, he'll find a way to escape Cortan. And if not, all our efforts, all the efforts of the Jedidas for the last seven centuries will come to nothing! What are they going to do to me? I don't know how to fight. I don't want to die. Huh? Well, Daddy doesn't place too much value on your life, does he now? <laughs> Since he's leaving you to fight in his place. This is absurd! The child won't last a minute against him! You never know, Iraq. Maybe he's tougher than he looks. <laughs> See you later. I've got to make arrangements for your duel. <laughs> You've decided to go to Moganda? I can't let them face Cortan alone. Take these. They'll help you climb over the city wall. My thanks, Killian. Open the door. <laughs> Who are you? Shh. A friend of your father's. Is he here? No, he's hurt. But I'm going to fight for you. Huh? But I don't have time to explain. Just take off your armor. Hurry! Quick, hurry up! It may be the Highlander. He can't possibly be ready yet. He won't escape this time! But, my Lord Cortan, is this going to interrupt my duel? Your duel. Your duel. I just hope I'm not too late. Cheated! It's not a fair fight! Not bad. He's got some talent. A little too much for my taste. But who's... An intruder! Catch him! Not an intruder! A guess! This can't be happening! He's going to... Major Goth! Look! The match has been fixed! Here is Erak's choice! He's right! That's our little Donnelly! I don't get it. Well, in that case, who's the fighter? The Cloud. The Highlander. Cortan! <laughs> Prepare to die, McCloud. 
I'm not afraid of you, Cortan. That's your mistake. Cortan? Ramirez! Seize him! Blue McLeod. Not even Ramirez can get you out of this one. <laughs> Sorry. I can't stay. Hang on, McLeod. Stop them. Block all the exits. Where are we going, Ramirez? The exit's on the bottom level. Salvation comes from the heavens, McLeod. <laughs> I get the impression they've run into Ramirez before. This way! Too late! Jan! You're safe! Father! Thank heavens. What happened to your leg? I'll tell you later. I'd rather hear about your adventures. Quentin saved my life by taking my place in the duel. You should have seen him on the beam right above the Anomas. You were right, Ramirez. Young MacLeod has shown that he is worthy of receiving my knowledge and powers. The ceremony will take place tomorrow at daybreak. Congratulations, MacLeod. On the oath sworn by the Jetators, I today pass on to you the knowledge of the winds. The knowledge which makes man able to navigate the seas and to fly through the air. Which enables birds and animals to cross the great oceans and the skies. May the knowledge now be shared! At last. By passing on all his knowledge to you, MacLeod, Olak has just given up his immortality. This is what all the Jetters have been waiting for. And they will not regret it? Regret it? Oh no, Olak has waited too long for the right to be a mortal and live out his years in peace. You will also have this right one day, but... But not before finishing your mission, Highlander.
David Robinson play. Good thing we bought the Kellogg's Raisin Bran. You two, with the two scoops of raisins, come with me. David Robinson! I saw you eating Kellogg's Raisin Bran. You eat this too? Watch me. Two scoops of juicy raisins have the taste everyone's sweet on. Kellogg's Raisin Bran, part of this complete breakfast. With two scoops of raisins, you can get the scoop on me and other basketball greats. College greats poster cards. One free and specially marked boxes of Kellogg's Raisin Bran. I'm the good looking one. I am Duncan MacLeod, born 400 years ago in the highlands of Scotland. I am immortal, and I am not alone. For centuries we have waited for the time of the gathering, when the stroke of a sword and the fall of a head will release the power of the quickening. In the end, there can be only one. Seven out, line away, don't stay paid. You're relieved, really Captain. It's early. I said you were relieved. Gustafsson wants to see you. Joe, have a drink. I usually don't drink while I'm working the tables, Miss Gustafsson. You're through working the tables, Joe. Okay, sure, I'll come in early tomorrow. She said you're through working the tables, Joe. Finito. Hey, if this is about that guy last night, he was just on a roll. $50,000 of the house's money is more than a roll, Joe. It's a friggin' avalanche. Tell him the rules, Clinch. Tell him rule number one. Customer shall not go home with too much of Mrs. Gustafson's money. He was watching me real close. I couldn't switch the dice. Well, maybe you didn't want to, Joe. Maybe the guy was a friend of yours. Well, you know me better than that. I don't have any friends that I like that much. Well, that's very sad. But we believe you. Tell him why we believe him, Clinch. This big winner disappeared last night. Skipped town without so much as even checking out of his hotel. Ain't that a bitch. Mm. Which means if you were working with him, he skipped out on you, too. Tell him his responsibilities, Clinch. You are responsible for your table. You are responsible for the 50 grand. And I know you want to pay me back. 50,000 is a lot of money. I think that's my point, Joe. Yeah, I think that's exactly my point. I'll need some time. Oh, sure, Joe, we understand that. Uh, tell him how much time, Clinch. You can count to five. Sure you can, Joe. Five days. One, two, three, four, five. Ah! <laughs> Good afternoon, West Side Orphanage. I've got Richard Ryan's file right here, but I have no record of anyone having asked for it. For uh, Dr. Uh, James Jones, uh, Crosstown address. Hey, that's all I know. We're not supposed to release orphanage files without authorization. There are laws regarding confidentiality. Guy's a doctor. Sounds sweet to me. Nobody's asking you. Hey, I'm just the messenger. Just which company did you say you worked for? Uh, look, uh, look for yourself. Hey, you come out here! You can't take them! Security! Oh, right there! Uh, Harold, uh, what's the problemo? You stay. 
steal that? Uh, before I answer that, Harold, have you had the mandatory course in prudent and appropriate use of force? Stop talking trash and turn around so I can cuff your ass. I guess that means no. No, lightning lips! Uh, uh, Harold, this is uh, all a test of your, uh, security here. Uh, I'm an undercover agent with the Public Works Special Investigation Unit. Uh, cuffs are a little tight, Harold, but that's okay. According to my stopwatch, your response time was... Well, within our codes, you should be very happy about this, Harold. Uh, shut up. Uh, Harold, you forgot the file. Undercover agent, that's good, Richie. Whoa, we in a bad mood? Wait, you just got back from the island, right? So maybe that's it. Island fever. Why do you open it, Richie? Or maybe you had a fight with Tessa. Oh, you know women. <laughs> Who can figure them out anymore? Why the orphanage? That was the question, right? Right. Ah, eh, you know, uh, return to the old stomping ground. I spent a year or so there when I was like five. Then I did this whole foster home drill. Hi, kids. This is your new foster brother, Richie. Treat him just like one of the family. Not. Come on, Tessa's worried. So he wouldn't tell you why he stole the file? I could guess. He wants to know where he comes from. Why can't they just tell him? Because it's against the law. Besides, maybe they don't know. Why do you say that? No reason. You look hot. Art can be hard work. No, I meant you look hot. Maybe we can help Richie find out who his parents are. I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Use the gauge. I, I, I didn't ask you for help because it, like, it, it, it takes a while to develop that ask for help reflex, okay? Did you find something in those files that you didn't already know? I just got a peek. You know, I saw a name. Emily Ryan, deceased. You think she was your mother? I don't know. I already knew she was dead. I remember... I was real little, but... But, hey, I uh, scored a three-pointer on my old man at the buzzer just before the rent-a-cop grabbed me. You learned something about your father? Yeah, um, he and Emily were still married when she died, so I guess that means he is my father. Richie, if he was your father, don't you think he would have contacted you by now? When I was a kid, I made up a story. I pretended he was like a, a spy or something, doing dangerous stuff behind the Iron Curtain or whatever. That's why I couldn't just, like put in a collect call and say, I want to talk to my son, Richie Ryan, the all-American boy. Can I pass right now? Kid stuff. Nah, who knows? I mean, maybe he's tried to find me. It's not like my face is on a carton of milk. Looks bad. I'll gather them in. Okay. No, no, save your strength. You fought well. You fought like I'm a cloud. I wanted to be part of the victory. I, you will. You'll be part of a great victory. I always thought oh, there'd be more. Dunk. Good
name will be mentioned with honor in our own Duncan McLeod of the Clan McLeod. That's it. Yeah. We have suffered a great loss. We've lost a kinsman and a son. He led you fearlessly, with no thought of himself. And now you must go back to the fight, with no thought but of him, with no name on your lips but his, Duncan McLeod! Duncan McLeod! It is a miracle. No, it is the work of the demon master of the world below. Father, you are no bear of mine. You are no my son. You're not my son! You think we should have looked for him then? Who? Jack Ryan, Richie's father. Yes. Everybody should have a chance to have a father. What? I wouldn't lay hands on finding him. I started telling you everything that ever happened to me. Let me be the judge of that. My father couldn't grasp what had happened. <laughs> Who could? Man, he must have freaked. I mean, there you were, all of a sudden, on your feet again. Zombie in a kilt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I was more terrified than he was. We were a primitive clan. Primitive and superstitious. You know, fear ruled our lives. What lay on the other side of the mountains was beyond imagination. Then can you blame your father? I did it first. There were days in that first bit of winter in the highlands that I just wanted to die. But I couldn't. And my family problems are history. Riches are here and now. You know there's a proverb in northern India? If you go hunting tigers, be sure you're prepared to find one. Meaning, I might not like what I find. Why do you want to know that? Hmm? After all this time, there must be a reason why your father hasn't contacted you. Think about that, Richie. I have. Do you remember anything before the orphanage? Not much. There was a woman. Your mother, Emily Ryan? I don't know. I guess she must have been. I can't picture her face, but I remember every Friday we used to go to the post office. I never figured out why, but I loved it. Man, I wanted to be a mailman something fierce when I grew up. <laughs> and then right down the street, there was this candy store. It was run by this sweet old guy called Stubbs. I remember Stubbs because I couldn't manage his name, so I used to call him Mr. Tubby. <laughs> he thought that was hysterical. He was as thin as a pencil. She'd buy me licorice, and he'd let me look at the pictures in the comics. After all, I couldn't read yet. Why remember that? What was so special about the candy store? One day, Mom, uh, Emily, was, uh, chatting with Mr. Stubbs, and suddenly she put her hand to her forehead, said something like, I feel funny, and then she just fell to the floor and didn't move. I thought she was playing a game, so I'm like pushing her and laughing, and then the ambulance came, and lots of people running around, and then I took her away. Mr. Stubbs picked me up in the air, says, 
Well, lad, what are they going to do with you? That's why I remember Mr. Stubbs' candy store. What part of town was this in? You got me there, huh? I was four going on five. Who knew geography? I barely find my way to the bathroom. Mr. Stubbs Candy Store. Well, it's a start. It's not going to be in there. Guy was pretty old even back then. Must have cashed in his chips by now. Yeah, but you said the candy store was near a post office. That's right, son. My name is Richie Ryan. Pleased to meet you. Lady at the retirement home said I'd find you here. <laughs> Every afternoon. You used to run a candy store on Baltimore Street. For 30 years. Sold it last March. Now it's some sort of game store with a bunch of weirdos hanging around. I remember your place. I used to come in when I was a kid. <laughs> what are you now, an old man? <laughs> no, I mean when I was real young. Do you remember Emily Ryan? Emily? Of course. Well, that's reaching back some. Licorice. You used to love licorice, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you were a cute little kid, yeah. Always gave you little extras, I recall. Emily, yeah, she came in every Friday. I used to cash her check for her. You have a great memory, Mr. Stubbs. Well, people who came into my store got service with capital S. Never forgot them, never forgot me. That's the way I ran my business. Poor Emily. Yeah, I remember that day as if it was yesterday. She collapsed right in front of me there in the store. Brain hemorrhage. And she was barely 30. I wasn't sure if I remembered it right. I'm afraid so, lad. Next thing I hear, they'd whisk you off to an orphanage. Wasn't there a Mr. Ryan? Oh, sure, yeah. But they'd split up by then. Oh, yeah, I still see Jack hanging around. He lives here in this city? Well, as far as I know. He uh, used to be at the Spinning Wheel Hotel over on Madison. Uh huh. Thanks very much, Mr. Stubbs. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. For Golden McLeod!
probably a CIA front, you know. Deep cover. That is about as deep as it gets. Well, no, yeah. Mac. This is my dad. I need to do this alone. On the other hand, we still could catch the second half of the basketball game. What? Richie, it's up to you. He probably doesn't even live here anymore. Jack Ryan? I never heard of him. But then again, I only lived here for a couple of months. He might have lived here before me. Who would know? Think he might have left the landlord a forwarding address? Are you crazy? You move in here, you put your rent in the drop box, you move out. People like to remain anonymous, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you never knew him? You're too young to be a cop, kid. What's your interest in finding this Jack Ryan character? I think he may be my father. Maybe? I never knew my folks. Let me tell you something, kid. I knew my father. And I wish to God I'd never laid eyes on the bastard. You might be better off not knowing. Ah! <sighs> Happened to your finger? I broke it playing chess. Funny. Never thought of that as a contact sport. Listen, if you do come across a Jack Ryan, can you give me a call? Antiques. I'll keep my ears open. Thanks. Appreciate it. Stay cool. Oh, listen. What's your name and... Hey, Finger, Joe. It hurts like hell. Well, then I'm a happy man. Let's talk. Man should always take pride in his work, Joe. I read books on anatomy for months when I got this job. I know the human form from head to toe. I know what breaks. I know what hurts. And I know what bursts when you hit it just right. this is today, Joe? Huh? I mean, besides laundry day? It's Wednesday. Right. Day number two. I don't know. I don't see any money around here. Stay where you are, Joe. I don't see 50 grand in neatly stacked bills waiting for me to take to Mrs. Gustafson. I don't know. What do you, what do you got it hidden here in the underwear, huh? I haven't got it yet. I'm sorry. I didn't quite catch that. I said I haven't got the money yet. Oh. God doesn't love you, Joe. Nobody loves you. Now, you know what happens on day two. Please, please, I swear I will get you the money. I know where to put my hands on it, I swear. I've been talking to people. Who you been talking to, Joe? Well, that kid, you must have seen him on your way in, huh? He's connected, he's got rich friends, they're gonna front me the 50, but tomorrow. Well, that's great. But tomorrow's tomorrow, and today is today. I'm no tomorrow. Oh! Here's what we're gonna do. 
Seeing as I'm such a busy man, and these little visits are so time-consuming, I'm going to take you at your word. I'm going to trust that you're going to have the money here by tomorrow. Because if you don't, I'll have your whole hand. I'll cut it off, and I'll watch you eat it. Finger by finger. With a little ketchup on the side. Have a nice day, Joe. Hello? Hey, how you doing? You, uh, you found something already? No, not exactly. So, it's, it's great to see you, but, like, what are you doing here? Oh, this is gonna be tough for me. Uh-huh. I've never been exactly, uh, a steady guy. Life's never been easy. Welcome to the club. In fact, I spent most of my life behind the eight ball. Look, I don't mean to be rude, but, uh, it's getting a little boring. <sighs> I lied to you earlier, kid, uh, I changed my name, thought it would change my life. And by the time I was ready to find you, it was too late and I was too old. You see, Richie, my real name is Jack Ryan. I'm your father. Your Uncle Bart, he paid his way through school by picking up side bets at all the Cleveland Indian home games. He'd uh, pick up the money from his regulars as he went up and down the stadium selling hot dogs. And then well, the next day, he'd pay the winners back by putting the money inside the hot dog bun and just sliding it down the aisle. <laughs> what you wanted to hear about your family. Why did you leave? I have thought about that for a lot of years. I just had this wild hair. I had these dreams. And you didn't want a kid around to screw him up. It is not that, kid. The fact is, the fact is when my son, when you were born, I couldn't have come home if I'd wanted. I used to think you were a spy off on some mission. <laughs> well, it was something like that. Mission. <laughs> yeah, I was in Leavenworth. <laughs> and then when I got out, my wife, you... Your mother, she'd already taken you for parts unknown. She died. Emily died. I thought you knew that. I'm really sorry to hear that, kid. I just, I just thought that well, since... Well, story of my life, kid. They'll put it on my tombstone. Old Jack Ryan. Never had a clue. What was she like? My mother. She was a real gem, kid. She's patient, funny. She had a great sense of humor, that woman. But she liked kids. She wanted a real big family. Smart. Too smart for a guy like me. But you left her. You loved her? You knew she was having your kid, and you left her. How can anybody do that? Well, it comes down to that same thing, doesn't it, kid? It comes down to that one thing that changes your whole life forever. Look, if I could live my whole life over again... But at the time, I, th I thought I was a guy with ambition. But I saw a chance. It was sitting up on a shelf like... Like one of those little Russian dolls, hollow. You know those? Yeah. And you open it, and then there's another one inside, only yeah. there's nothing there. And then you open the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and... 
Next thing you know, you're 53 years old and you're holding this tiny little doll. And you look at it and it ain't much, but you think maybe inside this is a dime. Come on, let me buy you a hot dog, huh? Hey, you're looking so serious. Sorry. Is he still here? They are still out. They certainly have enough to talk about. Maybe. What are you thinking? Nothing. I'm going out. Okay. Don't tell me anything. Ever. Richie looks for his long-lost father. Richie finds his long-lost father. It's too easy. Why would he do it? They aren't giving out medals to runaway fathers. Maybe he wants something else. I want to ask around. did that like you had lots of practice. Oh, and you are? Oh, just another friend of Joe's. Oh, I thought Jack Ryan lived here. Jack Ryan. Maybe that is his real name. Traveling man like him needs a lot of names. They get used up in a hurry. What do you want with them? For a man who just broke in here, you sure do ask a lot of questions. Joe, Jack, if you like, wanted some advice on his Financial future? Doesn't look like he's gonna show up, though. Always nice to meet a mutual friend of Joe's. Jack's. Whatever. Nice meeting you. like nuts because of fake I made, so I go in for a clean layup. You know, if I had known that you liked basketball so much, I would have got us tickets. Nah, that's okay. Does it here okay for you? Yeah, well, it's not exactly Trump Tower. Mac. I let myself in. I hope you don't mind. No, no. So, so you're Mac, huh? Richie's been telling me a lot about you. But I'm glad to meet you. Taking real good care of my boy. Yeah, I wanted to meet you too. Yeah, well, now you have. I guess this place doesn't give a very good impression. Hey, guy lives where he can. Max been around. Yeah, I can tell that just looking at him. Yeah, you look like you've been around too. Yeah, you should hear some of his stories. Oh, I'd like that. Nothing that'd impress a guy like you. Well, you never know. Truth could be stranger than fiction. Yeah, that is what they say. Well, I guess I better get going. Hey, come on, stick around. Jack will tell you about my cousins and stuff. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, there's no need for you to rush off. Another time. Oh, there was a guy in here looking for you. Big guy, long hair. Said he was your financial advisor. Hey, he's just an old pal of mine. A real joker. Well, nice to meet you, Jack. Richie's a good kid. Uh, you don't have to tell me that. Good.
Listen, I, uh, I need to go ask him a couple of things about work. I'll be right back. Okay, I'll just straighten up here. No, Mac, 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 Mac. Hey, hey, what was that all about in there? You treated him like he was rat poison. Oh, Rich, he's a... He's my old man, okay? He may not be much in your eyes, but he's all I got here. If I can make it work, what is your problem? We'll talk later, okay? Uh, yes, I'll need it by next Friday. Yes. <laughs> that would be perfect. Goodbye. Oh, that was quite a walk. Yeah, well, we had to go to a couple of stores. Jack needed some things. Uh, listen, Tessa, um, I know this is weird, but I was wondering if Jack could stay here for a few days. If it's any bother, any at all, I, I can stay somewhere else. <laughs> what happened to your apartment? Well, I'm a little overdue with the rent and the landlord while he's taking my things. Jack's between jobs. Just a couple of days, honest. We'll have to ask Mac. Yeah. Where'd he go, anyway? Your drink, Mrs. Gustafson. He wasn't there, but somebody else was. A man who said he was looking for Jack Ryan. Maybe he was. Maybe he got the wrong address. Or maybe he knows something we don't. Hey, you followed me. Maybe you weren't looking for Joe, huh? Maybe you were looking for me. I just want some information about the man living in that apartment. Whatever his name is. He owes you money, right? <laughs> we'll get in line. Or get lost. What do you know about Joe Scanlon or... Uh, hey, I uh... told you! <coughs> 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 Go for your gun and I'll make you eat it. I asked you a question. Joe Scanlon worked for me. Now he owes me a lot of money. And just remember, if you're trying to collect from him too, we're first. Thank you. Oh, get up, Clinch. Making a spectacle of yourself. Hey. Where did you learn that? From the people that invented it. I, uh... Oh. <laughs> Hope you won't be too uncomfortable sleeping on the floor. I could sleep lengthwise on a railroad tie in half. <laughs> I'm just afraid to breathe in here. I might break something that costs more than my life is worth. This ain't even the expensive stuff. Come look at this. This is my favorite. Solid gold. That's beautiful. So's the price. How can you be so sure he's not Jack Ryan? He's told Richie so many things about his life, about his mother. He's sold you too, hasn't he? He's a con man. He wants something. What? Tessa, take a look around. He sees the shop. He sees Richie living here. He sees a meal ticket. You can't see any other reason, can you? This man left his wife, his family. Maybe he wants something he lost. And you believe that? People can change. Oh, they sure can. It takes centuries. I hate arguing with you. You always oh, bring Tessa, all that. Come on. For 400 years, you've been looking over your shoulder. And now you, oh. you don't trust anybody. He's just a human being. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. It's okay. It's just... It's Richie we gotta worry about now. This Jack or Joe, he became a father too quickly. Just when he needed a place to hide. Someone's got to talk to Richie. Can't it wait until morning?
Yeah. It can wait till morning. Richie. What's the matter? He took it. He took the mask. I give the police a full description of the mask and of Jack or Joe or whatever his name is. Now they're out there in the car laughing their ass off at me. Nobody's laughing at you, Richie. It's not like I really believed he was my father. It's not. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the old guy lays down a pretty good line, but who do you think you're talking to here? <laughs> Made up all that stuff about my mother, too. He probably didn't even know her. Like, it really matters where you come from. Richie. It matters. Of course it matters. They smell a Tusca. Steady, lads. Father! It's the devil! Father! It is me, Duncan. He recognizes me, but my own flesh and blood does not. They let me wander away from all men. You'll not be doing me thus, be it from heaven or hell. I am your son! No! And you never were! The night my lady wife gave birth to my only son, stillborn, I was brought into a chamber by a peasant woman, a boy child, to replace that which was lost. I do not believe you. Is that proof? Or God strike me dead! And when the midwife looks into your eyes, I, for it was you the peasant brought in, she cringed back in fear and said you are a changeling left by the forest demons and we shall cast you out for the dogs. But you did not. No. I saw the look on my lady's face. We took you in and banished the midwife. May God forgive me. He buried my wee son and put you in his place. And no man ever knew you were not of my blood. You are my heir! Where do I come from? 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 Where? Where do I come from? You never found out who your real parents were? No. But after a couple of hundred years, you get over it. One day, so will you. Yeah, it's me, Joe Scanlon. I got something for you that's worth more than what I owe you. A lot more. Yeah, I'll be there, but the cops are looking for me. It's going to take a while. Yeah, I said I'll be there. Mac, Rich is gone. I think I know where. Joe, Jack, whoever you are, open the door. Let me in. Airport. Oh, damn. Damn it, kid. Come on, buddy. The airport. 
Well, what have we here? Everybody's looking for our man Joe, including this guy. Friend of yours? Never heard of him. Hey, what? be nice to Mrs. Gustafson. Scanlon said he was getting the money from this guy. So you decided to cut out the middleman. Yeah, why not? Money? Hey, this guy ripped off my friends. He put on his afterburners and split. I hope for your sake that isn't true. It isn't. I've got what you want. And it is worth four times what I owe you. If that thing's as hot as I think it is, we'll be lucky to fence it for 10% of that. Then I'll fence it myself. I can do better than that. What, and you leave Bart Simpson here as collateral? Oh, no deal. The kid leaves now. He'll keep his mouth shut. Who's he to you? He's my dad. Run, kid. <laughs> oh! Oh! I know, I know. Look, I'm sorry. It's okay. We're leaving now. You did what you had to do. Listen, we gotta do now. <laughs> Come on, Clinch, you're fired. Hey, Richie. Hi. Is this a seasonal thing that we rearrange everything in here? An artist should never grow complacent. Change is good. You compensating for me. Right. Did Joe get off all right? I put him on a bus to Tucson. What's in Tucson? A little doll with a diamond in it. I, uh, I saw Mr. Stubbs in the park on my way back. I wanted to ask him some more stuff about my mother. Turns out that check she got every Friday was from a foster agency. She was a foster mother. My foster mother. So I guess I'll never know where I came from. I'm so sorry, Richie. Hey, you get to decide who you are. Not many people get that chance. You got her tuned up nice. Look, yeah. you're coming now. I noticed. <laughs> makes a statement, you know? Yeah, well, what am I saying when I make this statement? I don't know. Uh, here I am, world, something like that. Well, that's your statement. <laughs> My statement is more... I'm just passing through. Ah, you're just passing through. Hey, you want me to tune it back down? It's your car. Mm -hmm. Just one more time. Go for it. Ha, ha, ha. 